So let's get started. You guys are on your way to Nightstone. And I'll pull that up on the map for everyone so they can see it. Nightstone is a small village just north of Daggerford and kind of southeast of Waterdeep. Yes, thank you someone for pinging that out. It's within the Ardeep Forest and it's just off the high road, which is one of the main roads for a uh, trade. You guys have grouped together with a small caravan. There's one carriage and one wagon. The carriage, it carries Herschel's family, Herschel Rhinelander. He's a trader that's going from Daggerstone, from Daggerford to Nightstone. And he brings his family with him, his wife and his two sons. None of you have horses, but they do allow you, Theodore, that would be Alex's character, the ranger, to ride on one of the horses. As you are kind of their guide, the person that knows the area. You haven't technically been to Nightstone before, but you've been up this way, and you're very familiar with the Sword Coast itself, at least the southern parts of the Sword Coast. The northern parts you're not quite as familiar with. Pretty much anything south of Waterdeep? Uh, probably anything near the Sword Mountains, too, kind of up north of Waterdeep. Okay. So you have a pretty good regional um, knowledge, at least as far as terrain goes. If you have history, you'd have also good knowledge about the areas. But if you don't have history, then you just know the places you've been, you know some things here and there. Nope, no history, but I do have animal. Okay. Well, that <laughs> that's not the same thing. <laughs> that is that <laughs> animal from all But I'm riding a horse, so... That's true. You are riding a horse. Wait a second, I thought you said we don't have horses. He, he is allowed to ride a horse. It's not his. Oh. Gotcha. The rest of us are stumping along behind the carriage. Ah, uh, you can be in the carriage. You can be on the buckboard with Herschel. He has an entourage of four other guards with him. Oh, nice. Just because Sorry. the roads can be dangerous. And that's where we're actually going to start the intro. So we have the four of us. Herschel, Herschel's <laughs> wife, Herschel's son, Herschel's other son, and four guards. Correct. And Herschel's on the buckboard. He talks all the time. Um, he probably doesn't stop talking unless you interrupt him. Does anyone want to ride with him on the buckboard? I have stumpy legs, so I'll ride on the buckboard. <laughs> <laughs> you could also ride in the carriage with his wife nope. and her uh, youngest son. No, I have no desire to talk to children. But what about a wife? You're just mad because they're the same height as you. Probably. What about you, Arthur? I am... Um, can I be in the carriage? You can be in the carriage. Yeah. <clears throat> Schmooze with the wife. I am uh, sitting quietly across the way from the wife, and I'm not going to be talking too much. Okay. So you can hear Herschel up front. He's talking Carmen's ear off. I just ignore him. <clears throat> But I'll, I'll start with the intro. I'll do my monologue. You can interrupt me at any point. He's, he says, The Savage Frontier is a, it's a cold, rugged, sparsely populated land. Has a lot of snow-capped mountains and rocky hills. Has many isolated strongholds, ancient burial mounds, and the ruins of many forgotten empires. They dot this vast landscape. Mm. He's one of the most rotund men you've ever seen. He... Weighs probably 350 pounds, and the buckboard kind of sags where he sits, and you kind of fall into him every once in a while because oh, it's sagging no. so much on this wooden plane. I end up accidentally putting my face in his sweaty armpit because I'm short. Sometimes. <laughs> like, oh, gross. He continues. The Savage Frontier extends as far north as Icewind Dale. I've been up there once myself when I was a young lad. My father took me there. And it goes as far south as my town, Daggerford. 
What brings you up this way? He says to you, Carmen. That's order business. Hmm. He will continue as if you didn't really say anything because you really didn't. Yep, that's fine. The old roads, they stretch across this great expanse. They link the dwarven strongholds. Maybe that may ha that's where you came from. And the mines and the mountains to the coastal settlements, the frontier towns, the outposts, and other folk alike. These roads mm -hmm. are they are lonely and long, poorly defended roads. That's why I brought our entourage of guards. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't go out alone. I'm glad that I have some of the most uh, proliferant adventurers by my side. Mm. That's quite a word. Yeah, it's not the real word. <laughs> you say from, where are you, Brian? Where are you sitting? Uh, I'm, I'm walking. Oh, okay. You're just walking behind. You can keep yeah. up most of the time. Sometimes they do have a stretch where they go too fast to walk, where you'd either have to jog or jump on to either the wagon or the carriage. Yeah. Are there, like, running boards on the side of the wagon or something? Yeah. There's running boards you yeah. could jump on and grab a railing. Yeah. Just occasionally. Yeah. I'm probably going to scout ahead about 60 feet and just make sure I always keep uh, the group in sight so I can uh, I just see if anything's coming up ahead. Okay. Give him a heads up if I see anything dangerous. Sure, you and one of the other guards do the same. Herschel continues. Lady Morwen Daggerford, he's or she's given us the blessing a possible trade route between Daggerford and a few of the outlying villages. Nightstone is just mm. the first stop where we're gonna trade. Then north we're headed across the whole of the Sword Coast. It's going to be a six-month journey there and back. And when we get back, we'll have made enough gold to buy up my father's debt and reclaim the family butchery. Mm. This is just where the journey begins. Mm -hmm. In the carriage, you can tell Emily she's just sewing some different uh, patches of leather. She's kind of tuning them out. And her youngest son, Wilfred, has the same auburn hair that she does. He's trying to keep himself busy, looking up and trying not to talk, but it's making him anxious. Mother, when can I have my horse back, he says to her. It's not fair that some stranger gets to ride him all the way to Nightstone. And she looks down. Dearest Martin, I've already told you this, this isn't up for discussion the nice ranger will ride him there, and when we're done, you can have him for the rest of the trip. Or you can stay in the carriage with me if you want. And he kind of grimaces at that thought. <clears throat> she looks up to you, Arthur. Arthur, what is that book you're always reading, if you don't mind me asking? I hope that's not too forward. Oh, it's, uh, it's just a book of spells. And the little boy, his face lights up. He looks up at you. Can you do magic? Can you show me something? Well, and um, is he holding anything? He is playing with a little toy in his hand. It looks like um, something his mother might have sewn for him. Not quite a dolly. Uh, I usually don't like to show off, but I touch it. And it turns into, uh, it lights up. So I cast light on it. Okay, he's like, oh, wow, is is that all you can do? That's really cool. I can do a few other things, but. He's just it's kind of mesmerized. It's setting right now. And I'll look right back down in my book and I'll start studying again. Okay. The quick distraction, and you're right back to studying. The mother, Emily, she just smiles. One of the guards rides up next to you, um, Chakad. You're walking by, and he uh, looks down at you. So, the Order of the Gauntlet. How long have you been with them? Oh. <sighs> Well, it depends. What day of the week is it today? Today? It's Monday. Hmm. 
Monday. So we have been here, uh, oh, about nine months. I don't know why I, I needed the day of the week for that. I say, hmm, from the buckboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you say so far? Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. That one's the talker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good with mouth words. Mm -hmm. He's bit. Never mind. Um, yes, it has been about nine months. Have you fought Do you anything? Show any allegiance? Oh. I show allegiance I... to Gaul. To to gold? being paid gold. Oh, gold, gold. Gotcha. Hmm. Very well. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I quote my good buddy and say, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hear we'll be parting ways up at Nightstone. But if anything's to happen, I'll have your back. Between between now and then, and I will also have yours. Mm. He uh, points to the um, pendant that you wear that is the Order of the Gauntlet pendant. Showing mm -hmm. that you are at least an initiate. Yep. Mayhap someday I'll look into joining up with a faction. Right now I just want to line my pockets, feed my family. Well, there are many valuable factions. The Order tends not to overly value gold. But uh, I suppose... Uh, depending on your skill set, there you may find, you know, an acceptable place there. Mm hmm. Well, may mayhap someday you can put in a word for me if it comes to that. I would be happy to do so, sir. Is there a name I should uh, pass along? <laughs> Hi, my name is Broderick. Broderick. Broderick with a B. Bro Roderick with a B. That's a fantastic name. Mm. Well, we are pleased to meet you, sir. I as well. Would you like to hear more about the order? Or Sure. Just we have just a long a... journey ahead of us, so let's hear it. Uh, generally speaking, to be armed and vigilant and ready to smite evil or enforce justice, or even enact retribution. This means identifying evil threats such as, you know, a secret power group and, and inherently evil creatures and watching over them and being ready to uh, enforce the rules should they misbehave. Um, but we must always, uh, retribution only, never preemptive. It is not ours to strike first. Mm. Uh, faith is always the greatest weapon against evil uh, whether it is in a god in your friends or in yourself but uh, where I do think you will have value is that battling evil is an extraordinary task and that it ex requires extraordinary strength and bravery and I believe that you would be capable of both of these I hope but, so did Above all else, leaders? I didn't. I decided against it because oh, I need man. plus one to, uh, strength so bad. Otherwise, okay. I was going to. Because you sure so, sound like it right now. I know. I, 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 I may have crafted him as an inspiring leader <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and then needed the plus one super best. So level four, we know where you're going. <laughs> yeah. Uh, roll a persuasion check. Persuasion. I don't know if you do this or not. Oh, I do it. <laughs> you do it. Wow. Yeah, he does. Bam. For a total of 20. You are you seem to be very knowledgeable about this. And uh, I'll take what you say to heart. I'll oh, think about it. We would look forward to having you walk with us. As you say that, give me a perception roll, Theodore. Mm. 
That's not bad. 15. <clears throat> so, you guys are talking. Herschel still hasn't stopped talking. He's just in the background at this point while you're talking to the guard. And even Carmen's tuned him out to listen to the side conversation. Arthur's in his uh, studies. He might tune out everything or multitask. I don't know how your mind works, Arthur. Are you multitasking? No, I'm very focused, so, unless my name is called. Okay, so you wouldn't even be distracted unless they like brought attention to it. But your attention is grabbed when the carriage stops and you hear Herschel stop talking for a second. Why are we stopped? He says kind of loudly as you see the guard and Theodore up ahead stopped near um, on the path. There's a large tree that's blocking the path. And it will not allow a carriage or a wagon to pass by. And you can all go ahead and give me an initiative roll as on the path ambushed. you are ambushed by goblins. And I go. will switch the map. Oh, I crit rolled my initiative. That's wild. <laughs> I will switch the map for you guys. You also have a minus one, huh? <laughs> yeah. Dex is not my thing. Hey, I got real oh, close. We did too. really good on initiative. <clears throat> All right. Let's, uh, there we go. If Is the buck board high enough that if I hop down, it's going to hurt me? No, it's not, not that 10 high. feet. That's good. So let me put all your characters on the map. And then I will get everything ready. Can you control that, Josh? Can I control what? The token. The on the buckboard. You're on there. What? Oh, I gotta zoom in because I'm Oh. Oh, hold on a second. I can control mine. Yep, yeah, I can't control mine. Whoa, what just happened to yours, Alex? I have no idea. <laughs> that was wild. Your horse just took off. I think that <laughs> I... you can't control both, Alex. Uh, he's on the horse. Because so you're the on horse. the horse. Oh. I think that was the problem. I don't know. <laughs> so we'll put you there. <laughs> well, uh, he's still the working out of some of the bugs. Yeah, they're on the far side of the tree. They were scouting ahead. So the tree just mm -hmm. went down? No, gotcha. it did not. It's just in the middle of the path. And a few goblins jump out. Let me change the music because this is too nice for this. I don't think I see my token on there yet. Nope, because, because you're inside. Inside the, inside the wagon. <laughs> Did that work? There we go. Perfect. And let's pull out some goblins. All right, let's do it. This is where I get to figure out how beings suck. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love that we, they just all got revealed at once. They all nah, come out nah, of their nah. little hiding spot and they nah, all got revealed because nah, they're going to nah. start attacking. I can't get to a goblin. Hey, <laughs> One turn. Hey, hey, <laughs> Go ahead and add your initiatives if you haven't. Oh, that's great. Am I on the turn tracker? No, yeah. I, I don't see myself. Oh, okay. I don't see yourself he was either. Just, he was just teasing us. And oh, add turn, add turn. Did that show you both? Yeah, there you go. I don't think it shows you me. yet, Matt, because you're still... I'll just reveal you. That'll make it easier, right? You're yeah. in the wagon, but there you go. You're on top of the wagon. Not really. Give yourself, <laughs> give yourself a modifier or a big old X or something. All right. You trying to decide if you're sitting on the horse's ass or not. <laughs> <laughs> I was just making sure I could move my hair. And I wonder if I can also do this.
Did it roll twice? It did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your first one was a 20. Mine will always roll twice for some reason. I think it's because I have two windows open. So we'll go with the first roll I always roll. And I got to turn off 3D dice. Yo, your, uh, your goblins are super fast. Yeah, they are. I mean, they're, they're supposed to go first. They're an ambush. Yeah, but if they go first initiative order, we all clear surprise. They get to go again before we act, so that's going to be fun. Oh, did we get surprised? Yeah, yeah man. You yeah, did get surprised. surprised. So these guys are going to clean our clocks. They go first, I guess, huh? And the guards should roll, too. All right, so the guards roll in on a 16. I'll get faster at this someday, I promise you. No problem. The goblins jump out of their little hiding spots, and they focus on the guards. So first they're going to attack three of them on this guy. Bye, Broderick. No way, Broderick's back talking to me. Except my Broderick looks like a pretty lady. So a natural yeah, 20, man. an 11, and a 15, plus their modifier. And they have a plus 4 to hit. So the natural 20 crits the guy in front of you, um, Alex. Theodore, I should say. And Looks does... Like <laughs> that is enough forces for everyone. <laughs> It does, is that a four plus two? Yeah, so eight, nine, ten damage to him. Oof. And in one shot Oof. takes him out. The other two <clears throat> shots are wasted on his dead body. They all go into How him at the same time. How can you rolling scimitars instead of short bows? That's a good question. I mean, same damage. Same damage, same to hit. Yeah. So let's just give this guy a little... um. X. He is down. <laughs> Horses for everyone. And then this guy is also going to take three shots. <laughs> one, two, three, three, four, one, two, three. Oh, and peace. they are all hits. Oh. Dude, you guys are getting your... These guards are not lasting at all. Uh, I mean, up, any of us would have died to these. <laughs> Yeah, this is so. I'm rolling really well on the session session one one <laughs> slaughter 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 yeah that's enough Five. to take him out as well two more goblins yep. two more goblins that have to go yep and then the last two are gonna focus on this one an 11 and a 10 plus their modifier those are actually both misses on the guards though that guard that was the goblins' turns. Two guards are down. The horses kind of rear up in fear. And after they kill this guard, the goblins, one of them moves in. One, two, three, and mounts the horse. Oh, you see him climb up. It's actually an interesting sight for this tiny goblin. He looks like he has to scale the horse. And he uh, finds a few different handholds, climbs into the oversized saddle, and grabs the reins. He's facing directly at you, Theodore. And that's your turn, Theodore. <laughs> yep, so we all clear surprise, I assume. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I guess so. So. <laughs> it's a good day for the goblins. The horse and the goblin here. Take off. Uh, here to steal the horses? Okay. This goblin moves in. Oh, let's try not to move the map. Let's Whoa. move the goblin. Whoa. Earthquake. That felt weird. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get rid of the guard. And he cannot mount the horse, so he'll take another shot at this guard. Um, this one, this goblin up here. God, I cannot grab him oh that's because i didn't reveal him did i oh yeah uh, when i'm clearing surprise in my turn i'm gonna look at herschel and say, get your fat ass in the wagon before you die okay 
So the goblin <laughs> on the lower left-hand corner of the map, he retreats. And this goblin retreats off the map. I can't move him off the map. Whatever. There, he's gone. Side him. Yeah. <laughs> These two move in through the brushes, through the trees, and they take another shot at the guards. They're definitely focusing down the guards right now. Both a miss, though, on this one. And there's one more goblin over on the bottom left-hand side. He also focuses on the guard. And misses. The, these three shots just completely whiff. So you just you blew up on that surprise round. Mm -hmm. And now, now we're... And now you're seeing it. what goblins are actually supposed to do. That was their next turn. Go ahead, Theodore. You're on a horse. Remember, you can... Um, I don't know if I can give you control of this. Let's find out. Controlled by you. So now you should be able to move together. Nope. nope. <laughs> nope. That was interesting. Doing weird thing. <laughs> well, wherever you move, I'll move the horse for you. How about that? Okay. You can use an action, or you don't have to use an action. You can command the horse to dash, disengage, or dodge. They haven't been uh, focusing on the horses. Yeah, I'm going to try to put an arrow in the goblin that's trying to get on the horse. Okay. So roll to hit. So 19 is a hit, and it does a total of 5 piercing damage. Yep. Yeah, you shoot the arrow. It almost dodges out of the way, and the arrow deflects off its armor, dealing it 5 uh, damage. That's all you can do for the turn, right? You can move, though. Yep, I'm debating if I want to. Um... Pony show, jump think, over the tree. I think out <laughs> in the open is probably a bad idea, so I'll move. Into the brush? Into the brush a little bit. Okay. I like how you're just like <laughs> off the horse almost. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Snap to grid. Side saddle. Next. That'd be me. Is, yep. Carmen. I equip my shield. <laughs> that's a good call good action good action and then i'm gonna hop down and go one two three four five um and then i'm gonna I, i'm also gonna yell at the goblins and orc i'm just gonna curse at them and orc. all right to draw their fire okay interesting choice that was your turn then I guess give me an intimidation roll. <laughs> I am not an intimidating guy. I'm small like them. Boop. Did it roll? It yeah. did. A total of seven. You yell That's at right. them in orc. <laughs> you speak orc, right? I do. What do you even say to them? Uh, Fuck you. Probably something stupid. Yeah. Fuck you. That's your you favorite line. Shit. Right, yeah, fuck you, you goblin shit. Okay. You're worthless and horrible, and I hate you. That was your turn, Carmen. Yeah. Jakot. I will also equip my shield. Yeah. First um, action, every combat. And then, uh, let's see, what do I have for move speed? Move speed 30. Um. So this is an unfortunate piece of meta here, but... Oh, what's going on? Oh, I'm just changing things. Don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so first thing I'm going to do, one, two, three. I'm going to check the the back here, make sure that there's no goblins coming to sneak in and gank all the kids and wives. There are no goblins going to sneak in and gank the kids and wives. Nice. All right, then I'm going to four, five, six, vaguely move back in the direction of the other fodder. Okay. 
And that was your turn. You can move yep. again if you want. Come on, up next again. Time. Well, you oh, moved. Oh, no, you equipped your shield. Oh, you equipped I your shield. shield. Yep. Right. You guys have yep. a lot of equipping shields to do this campaign, I can tell. For ambushes, yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, if we don't know what's going on, it's bad for us. Arthur, you're in the uh, back of the carriage, but it's not a closed front. Like, you can see out the front, and you can kind of see what's happening, the commotion that's going on. You put your book down for a second, and you see this goblin trying to climb this horse. Uh, and I look at, I quick look at the little kid with the lit up toy and I go, perhaps now it's time to show you my other magic. And I, mage armor. <laughs> <laughs> mage armor. With your mage shield. <laughs> that was uh, so anticlimactic, but it That's looks. Like so firebolt. It does look amazing when you cast mage armor. When you do that, what does it look like? You can describe the spell effects. So, I kind of feel like it's um, it's like outline of armor, like <laughs> Tron uh, style, almost like Tron style, but it's not like bulky off me. It only kind of goes over my clothes, and you can just kind of see like you know if you would touch it, you'd see like it react. Okay. Just like little waves. And the image fades waves. pretty quickly, but it does right. show like a suit of armor that covers you from head to toe. Um, right. Does it have a helmet even? Uh, yeah. Sweet. Why not? <laughs> and then it fades and it's uh, just you again. And he yep. looks at you and his eyes kind of light up and widen as he watches your magic. It's fantastic. It's amazing. And then you're done. You can move and if you want. Then. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm getting out of. Can I get out of the carriage? Yeah, you get out of the carriage. If I did that, okay. So I hop out of the carriage, and I'll move. Wait, wait. So that would take you two of your two, movement to hop three. out. Okay, so I'll move right here. Okay. Oop. Perfect. And then it's back to the goblins. This goblin jumps on the horse, and they move away. So, three, four, five. So that's one movement. Whoa, he can hurdle right over the tree like that? No, yeah, he's going to he try. Uh, he <laughs> has to use a little um, extra movement, so he's going to stop right here. It kind of bucks back as he's going to hurdle the tree. The horse rears up. He gets it to go over it, but it takes a second as he's screaming at it in Goblin. I don't think anyone actually understands Goblin, right? Mm -mm. Um, no. Okay. Yeah, he's just screaming at it in Goblin as he's trying to ride away. He didn't get very far. This did, guy's going to Nobody go. takes Goblin, even though we knew the mission was to fight Goblins at level one? Nope. We're awesome at this. Okay. Giant and Sylvan are my two languages. I have Celestial and Orc. These two move to this side, and they're going to try to get this guard off his horse. Uh, they both miss. And that was their turns. Go ahead. Uh, Theodore. Sorry, I'm trying to remember all your names as we go. No worries. Uh, I'm going to take one more shot at the uh, goblin that tried to hurdle the tree. Okay. Roll to hit. And again, um, a true shot. You hit him square in the back as he's running away, and you hear like a and he just topples over the horse, and the horse keeps running. What was that, what was that again? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> that was great. And the horse runs off the map, eventually. And that is my turn. Okay. Fucking horse. I was able to write my name on the turn order last game. How did they do that? You probably put it in the nameplate. Yeah. Nameplate. Uh, if you edit your token, 
Yeah. Him oh, have a name? Two, three, four. I go there. <clears throat> All right, you go right between them. Gotcha. You fucking goblins. Piece of shit, steal our horses. Fucking hate goblins. Did that cost all your movement? No, I have a little bit left, but I'm going to punch one in the face with my hammer. Okay. Roll to hit. Hammer punch in the face. So it's a one-handed weapon, right? Yep, so the first number on the bottom. The so four. Four damage. You deal four Enjoy. damage as you um strike against it. You don't hit it in the face. He dodges out of the way, and it glances off his shoulder, and he's wearing a little... um. This guy right Shoulder here. pads that look like they're kind of makeshift leather. Nothing fancy. Yeah, this guy over here above me. Okay. Next. While you guys are doing this, I'm just fixing the air tokens. Go ahead, Jakad. All right. We will double move. One, two, three, four. Five, six, one, two, three. Two. Uh, Let's do it. I don't know if I'm allowed to get closer to the left one. I have I have movement left. I just don't uh, know if that's a spot. Let's or not. see. Right here would be difficult terrain. Right here would be difficult terrain. You're in clear terrain. All right. Yeah. Next to him. Yeah. Close enough. So you double move to get right next to him. Yep. Don't want them to leave. Horse stealing yep. goblins. No, guard killing goblins. Is that too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love how I'm like fucking stole our horses, and you're like, oh, you killed the guard. You <laughs> killed two people <laughs> quickly too. It was nasty. That's pretty bad. Hoping those other two goblins end up running after that horse. Arthur. Um. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Let me... I was calling there. Five. Okay. Um, I'm blocked by this tree, so I'd get disadvantage if I try to fire bolt him. Or is he covered? What kind of cover? Which one? Oh, I'm sorry. This guy. This one, yeah. I don't uh, see anybody else. Looks like there's no leaves on that tree. You could shoot right through it. Okay. Great. So, thank it's you. Dead. That's very if you're lucky and you miss, you'll set it on fire. Fireball. Nice. Ooh, crit. <laughs> Is that a <laughs> one you rolled on the damage day? Yes. I, I guess. Yeah, that's great. All right, so two damage to this one right here. And that's oh, not the one great. that Carmen hit. Got it. That's so horrible. <laughs> the <laughs> fire kind of glances <laughs> off of the tree itself and hits the goblin, and you see the tree light up. <laughs> A little nice. bit. Oh, great. Great. <laughs> yeah, great. You have, you have okay, control he fire, right? disappointed in you. No, I yeah. don't have control fire. Nice. You're no longer that kid's hero. Or maybe you're more that kid's hero. You know who I forgot to move last turn? Herschel. The guards. I yelled at Herschel the cat in the lag. <laughs> the guards will all fire arrows at the goblins. Um, these two that are surrounding you for now. And... Yeah. They do not hit the goblins. They're not a great shot, it seems. At least they're not doing what they should be. And we'll go back to the top. The goblins, you're right next to them. So this guy is going to try to attack the paladin. Mm -hmm. He fails miserably. He doesn't even hit you. He goes to swing with his little scimitar, and it glances off your plate arm or your chain armor like you're a tank or something. The other goblin above Carmen will try to hit him. What's your AC? 18? Yeah. He will also miss. Um, he was a lot closer. You had to dodge out of the way. He was trying to find the weaknesses in your chain mail. I don't dodge. I just hold my shield in the way. Well, you did that. Good job. Yeah. I'm not dodgy at all. 
This goblin is actually going to make it to the horse and climb on in one action, and then they're going to leave the map. And they move west. I think that was all the goblins' turns. Go ahead, Theo. Oh, there's one more down there. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah, Am I not the seeing it? By the thing. No, he's easily hidden by the... Oh, he left the map. These oh, okay. were the ambush goblins. And he's gone. Go ahead there, Theodore. He was hidden by my turn order. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I'm going to uh, shoot that one. Thirteen is not enough to hit it. The arrow, it's a little hard to shoot through these trees. It kind of gets lost in the branches and the leaves. You can hear it um, whistling through and it clacks against one of them, falls short of the shot. Okay. That's my turn. Carmen. Okay. I... Um, let's see. I hold up my hammer and uh, I utter a prayer to Morden and Dorvin. And I'm going to cast Word of Radiance. I utter a divine word and burning radiance erupts from me. Each creature of my choice that I can see within range, which five feet, must succeed in a constitution saving throw or take 1d6 radiant damage. So, bam. Oh, sweet. I roll for one damage. So one saves, one does not. <laughs> <laughs> is that Thanks, a spell Morden. or is that a cantrip? Yeah, it's a cantrip. It's a cantrip? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Well, you did one damage to this guy. Cool. He dies, and this one <laughs> is still alive. It it was um not affected by your weak spell. No, just a wave of light goes out for me. Boo! And he just was like, I've never oh. heard of that cantrip. Can you link it? Yeah, sure. Thank you. No one ever takes it. it. That's why. Because it's yeah, not. I think great. I used it like one time in my the merit campaign. Yeah, it's it's not super awesome, but I figured what the hey, it'll probably be the only time that I can cast it. That was it pretty cool. I mean, you have an AOE cantrip. That's pretty neat. Yep. Go ahead, Jacquard. All right. So he raises the big old shield in front of him, and then pulls the flail from behind, and a huge overhand strike. Let's see what happens. Nice. Blah. Oh, and he brained the shit out of that's him. That's the last he... goblin. Go ahead and describe it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like I said, with the big shield in front of him, he reaches way back with the flail, and its chains are hanging all the way to the ground. And that he goes up and over, like max distance overhead, and it just comes straight down on his head and apparently just pushes him straight to the ground <laughs> into a little puddle of goblin as the three uh, weighted balls at the end turn Sweet. his poor head into mush. Perfect. Oh, you got the tri-flail? Uh, I guess, let's see if I, what the picture has. It looks like it's actually just a one a onesie. Single flail. You're wearing a onesie. Yeah, I was like, wearing what? a onesie. <laughs> How is a flail different than a mace? This has got a chain on it, and so it it swings. Okay. A flail remember, doesn't a uh, flail have three little um balls that hit spiked balls or not necessarily. Um remember in Lord of the Rings when you finally fight the Witch King and he comes out with that big swinging monstrosity? That's an anime oversized version of what I have. Okay. Okay. Sweet. You guys clean up the mess of the goblins. Two guards down. And after going through their pockets, combat's over, by the way, you find a total of five gold, mostly in silver. How much did we get? Five gold. Uh -huh. Between everyone? Um, total. The guards kind of look over there, also trying to filter through. 
Um, so we lost. You lost one, Dustin and Ronnie. Two, two guards, two horses. Correct. But peace out, Dustin. We got five gold for our trouble. <laughs> um, I am not going to lay claim to any of that gold. Okay. I feel like uh, there are others who need that more than us. You're a fool. <laughs> we, we had this talk, but... Broderick, I, I probably... Yeah. Broderick I'm looks up at you, Jakarta. He's like, that was pretty impressive. What you did there. You used that thing your whole life. That flail. We've had it for a long time. Um, right. You say we all the time? I do. Okay. He looks a little confused <laughs> when you say that. You mean the the iron gauntlets? Is that your preferred weapon? Oh, no, the, the order of the gauntlet has no particular uh, favor. From one item over another. Those shields are common. Mm. Okay, so I look over at Jakarta and I'm like, Lad, I need your help. Yeah, sorry. A little shook up. Dustin and Ronnie, they, they, they didn't even make it. We, we're not even two days out of Daggerford. So Indeed. I pull out a hand axe and start trying to disseminate the tree a little bit so that we can move it off the road. Okay. And you see one of the other guards they haven't spoken since they've been here. This is the fourth of four. He looks at Broderick. Toughen up. He walks up and helps you move the tree. Okay. I, I rebuke him then too gently. I say there's no shame in missing the bottle. We didn't really know them anyways. Nothing to cry about. As he um, well, moves I'm over and like starts the... stripping their bodies. You're a shitty friend, aren't you? I didn't Remind say they're my friends. Share... Remind me not to share an ale with you at the beer. Or a beer with you at the, <laughs> the pub. <laughs> whatever. Sure, whatever you say. <laughs> As you're trying to... <laughs> you mourn for the fate that could have been yours. Aye, but for the grace of mourning for your friends. He'll just continue stripping the bodies. Those arrows could have come for any of us. Aye. He starts Can tossing I, the armor uh, into the caravan, into the wagons, and the weapons. Each of them had a short bow and a sword. Long sword. Does, does he take anything from the bodies and keep it for himself? Nope. He just throws it all in the back. It's okay. all standard issue, it looks like. <clears throat> Can I figure out if the goblins are uh, going west into the woods or if they're following the path? Yeah, as you continue moving, unless you want to split up, I wouldn't suggest that at level one. No, I'm, I'm probably doing the same 60 feet ahead just to scout a little bit, okay. trying to be a little bit more stealthy. Woodsman, don't go far. Those goblins are known to double back on ambushes. Stay near, we might need you. Okay, so I'll reduce the distance to like 30 feet. Okay. But I still want to try to figure out ahead of time if we're going to see more of them or if we're going to uh, essentially uh, if we think that the goblins are making camp off road and we're not going to see him again gotcha so yeah you're going to stay a little ahead to kind of keep an eye out it's only one more day to nightstone so you'll make Roderick. it you'll make it to nightstone in the early um probably early dawn tomorrow Roderick looks over at you yeah what do you wish to see done for Dustin and Ronnie. Would you like them to come with us? To be buried and interred. Up 
upon our arrival at Nightstone or to leave them here, bury them where they fall. I don't I don't think we should carry the bodies in, in the caravan. We can bury them here. Shouldn't take too long. I'll grab a shovel. Very well. He grabs a shovel from the caravan and they start burying Dustin and Ronnie. I can do the rights for him. Okay. I didn't know them well. I don't have much to say. May the gods bless them in the afterlife and keep their souls safe from hell. I'll just say it quick. From the earth we came and to the earth we shall return. Praise be to Morgan. Amen. You guys bow your head. You have a little service for them and you move on. You only have to make camp for one more night. All right. Everyone gets back into their same place as they were. And the caravan moves on. Herschel, surprisingly, has stopped talking as much. Thank you, Moradin. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to migrate around to the back and keep a lookout. Okay. That way. Kind of watch your flanks. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'll actually say something to Broderick mm -hmm. while we're moving. I say, uh, was this your first battle lad? Um, first real battle, yeah. So I'll, I'll pour him a cup of ale from my keg, and I'll hand it to him. I, I, I thank you. Thank you. Oh, a little shooken up, sorry. Clearing my head. The lucky ones see many battles. The unlucky see only few. Cheers. Kink. I tank, tap my tankard on his and take a swig. He downs it in one big gulp. Oh, there, son. Mm. Careful now. And he puts his little uh, travel canteen back on his belt. Man, he went for it. Okay. Takes you a few hours to get camp set up. Herschel says, if we leave about three in the a.m., then we'll be there roughly about six, not too far off. Six in the morning. All right, right when everything is getting set up, people are opening shop. I want to get there early. I got some things to sell. We can we can talk to uh God I forgot her name already. We can talk to Lady Vilrosa. Have this armor, have these possessions sent back to their families if they have any. Lady Vilrosa. Lady Vilrosa. She's the one in charge of Nightstone. She's a she's a little Spitfire. She has some very strong opinions, and the last time we met, it was. It wasn't on the best terms, but it wasn't on the worst. I think it'll be all right. She has a good heart. Is there anything we're walking into that we should know about? What do you mean? You're saying not on the best terms. Oh, not like that. It's just more of she has a different idea about who should have rights to trading and who has the rights to exploration. She um, doesn't really agree with Lady Daggerford's methods. And since I'm under her reign, her rule, we, yeah, we try to get along. <laughs> All right. Nothing to be worried about. I will trust your judgment in this matter. Thank you for that. They start setting up camp. The guards help if anyone else wants to help. I mean, I'll help. <clears throat> and they share some uh, stories about Waterdeep, about Daggerford. Some people talk about um, Neverwinter, all the different cities of the world, all the politics going on, things that are happening. 
It's all some of the same same that you've heard. Nothing really interesting. Some people are telling stories about the um, rise and fall of the dragons recently. And some people tell stories about the um, war of... I forget what it's called exactly. I think it's like the War of Iron. Which was um, dwarves and orcs. Oh yeah. The War of Iron. And you would How know a little bit there? about that. That wasn't actually too long ago. Oh, I was there. Yeah, you might have um, been on the sidelines. Yeah, part of my character's background I was thinking of is that like one of the personality characteristics is I have this hero of the faith that I told to be super awesome, Kevlar Stonehammer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so like during some sort of armed conflict with orcs, who I hate, um, like I was a junior dude and me and a bunch of other junior dudes got punked. And this dude, like, sacrificed himself to make sure that we could hole up until help came. And uh, I was, like, super impressed with him. Okay. Sweet. Because even though I'm 70, I'm still, like, not old as far as dwarves go. No, you're not old. I think it's, like, mid-20s or something. You're like Bilbo. And he's 50. Uh, or, no, Frodo is 50 when he gets... Uh first gets the ring yeah kind of like that right like i'm old compared to you guys but in my world it's not a super big deal i think dwarves live to like 200 or 700 or something they live a pretty long time holy crap so i should say in the uh, dwarf section even uh, yeah look it up how long do dwarves live am i able to uh avoid any goblin activity and go out and forage um it would probably be safer to forage close oh. to home today. They live to about 350 years. Dwarves mature at the same range as humans, but they're considered young until they reach the age of 50. You know, on average, they live 350 years. As far as your benefit of your background, Theodore, you forage enough for, what's it, four people? For the night? Oh, let's see. You can go ahead and read that. And then... Yeah, you stick to the road mostly. You are picking berries and finding anything nearby. You're not going out hunting at the moment, especially because it's getting dark. And that's when goblin activity would be at its peak, usually. Mm -hmm. uh, up to five other people each day. Myself plus. So one. six people total. Yeah, six total. So out of the ten of us left, you find quite a bit of food. Yeah. And anything anyone else wants to do for the night? Um so the the sons. Theodore and uh Theodore else. is Alex's character, so it's actually Wilfred and Martin are the sons. Oh. Wilfred and Martin. Martin is on a horse. Wilfred is on a horse. Martin's the youngest son, and Wilfred stays in the back. He is not actually a fighter, but he is like 15, and he wants to be a knight one day. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I'll talk to Wilfred. Oh, my gosh. My mom is calling me, too. Everyone's calling me today. I'm going to pass on that one. All right. You're not talking? Um, to... oh, okay. <laughs> no. my, my phone just keeps ringing every five minutes it's very popular um but i am gonna go talk to uh wilfred wilfred okay he's the older boy and we'll just mostly talk about the order and um you know what he thought of those guards dying um oh i thought you were proselytizing for a minute i was gonna be like man you're like the best recruiter the order has a, a little bit. I uh, thought you were going to be doing that a little, yeah. I'm gonna. It's going to be... I don't want to give him the false impression that, you know, just because he takes up, uh, you know, a badge, that doesn't mean he can't just disappear Die. in a volley of arrows that comes from the woods. Right, that's fair. He listens to you as you talk to him, and when you're talking, he's very respectful. Yes, Sir Jacon. Yes, 
Yes, sir, Jacob. I... I... It's not the first time I've seen someone die. I watched my grandparents die in front of me. Um... I'm ready. I want to be a knight. I don't... Do you have knights in your order? We are made of knights. Mm. I kind of peek over the room of my cup of ale and wash. Well... Head of shit. <laughs> we each find a, our own path here. Keep ourselves busy in our own ways. Mm. And move on in our own ways. I was thinking maybe... I've I've heard a lot of good things about the Lord's Alliance. They mm. they're scattered throughout the lands. I, I thought I might join them someday when I'm when I turn sixteen. Uh, the Lord's Alliance. I don't know a, anything intimate about them. I know that they do seek to ensure safety and prosperity, which is. Certainly, Admiral. Mm. They tend to wield authority more than a, more than we are comfortable with, mm. but they do good work. And if that is your path, may it bring you honor. Thank you, Sir Khan. Hmm. And Sir Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> so the rest of the night passes uneventfully. And we'll speed up time. Okay. Did you have anything uh, you want to do in specific, Arthur? Yeah, I'm going to use my uh, feature where I get one of my spell slots back. Okay, so on a short rest, the eight hours tonight, you will... I did want to double-check that. I, I might have misspoken. That could be a level two thing. I'm not 100% sure. What? Arcane Recovery. Arcane Recovery? Arcane Recovery. Is that level one no, or level I two? I have it right now. Yeah, once per... Yeah, I mean, the, oh, once per day, you when you finish your short rest, you can expend... You can choose expended spell slots to recover up to a combined level of one. And none of the slots can be six level or higher. Okay. So I got a. I used first level spot. I'm gonna get one back. Okay. And I have one more day of mage armor. Got it. I will definitely look into arcane recovery for the long rest rules because normally, if a long rest was you know the eight hours, it says once per day when you finish a short rest. Right. I don't know if they meant that to be as once per long rest when you finish a short rest instead. Probably. So Maybe it might be rest. up to five days. You can do it up to once per long rest. I will look into it, though, and I'll let you know next game. I don't think it should matter okay. anymore this game. Okay. Just kind of throwing it out there. That's the first um, hiccup with the long rest rules. Yep. Everyone gets up right and early. Rise and shine. People are breaking camp. It's a beautiful spring morning. And you make your way towards Nightstone. A little quietly, um, Herschel continues to be a little less um, overbearing. A little less loud. At some point, if he is kind of going on a yapping, I'll, I'll say to him, Herschel, if you talked less, we might hear the goblin. He just looks at you. <laughs> I deadpan him. And um, he'll continue talking. Mm, nice. That's great. <laughs> I sip an ale. <laughs> and yeah, you make your way to Nightstone. When you are approaching Nightstone, you can see the city off in the horizon. It's pretty far away, and it's, it's not actually a city. It's more like a village, very small place. Um, good for trading, but not um, really good for staying. No one wants to be there for long. 
when you get closer, I want everyone to give me a perception roll. Mm. How about you tell me when I'm closer? And but uh and I'm closer. <laughs> eh, not so great for me, sorry. 20, 12, 6, and 11. Hmm. So something seems off about the keep in Nightstone. As you get closer, you can see that while you've been traveling along the high road for days, um, the, the village of Nightstone is a... Uh, let me see what they call it. God, I just had this word of what these are, but... I'll get back to it. Dragon <laughs> on fire. <laughs> There's something off of the keep. It's on fire. It's a beholder. Mm. Oh, yeah. No, it's the okay. way they describe a city. Um, or not a city, a little... The keep sits on a hill up top. And the village around the keep is walled off. And there's a moat that goes around the village and the keep itself around the hill. Mm -hmm. but I'll get past that I got stuck on a word <laughs> a river flows around the settlement forming a moat and the village itself is contained within a wooden palisade beyond where you see a windmill a tall steeple and the high pitched rooftops of other buildings you can hear far off in the distance the ringing of a bell but you don't see any activity on the high road and you don't see any activity on the uh, bridge that connects the uh, keep to the rest of the village. Hmm. Continuing closer, you see that the bridge that spans the moat between the village and the keep has been broken. Looks like there is a gap. There are about seven watchtowers that flank the entire village in the palisade. South of the village and surrounded by the river moat is a uh, cone-shaped, flat-topped hill which stands a stone keep enclosed by a wooden wall. The keep also has part of it partially collapsed. Let me pull you up a map. Let me see what I'm looking at here. God, that word's going to drive me crazy. Well, anyways, let's move on. <laughs> 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 so you should all see the same map I'm looking at, correct? It's I a see. river. Our deep forest. Oh, I guess maybe I scroll out. There we go. Scroll way out. There we go. Yeah, go oh. ahead and scroll way you out. Got side view at the bottom. Let's see. I just see There at the bottom there's a side view, and this is what you see. You're approaching from the uh, southeast, the east. Is yours all black? No, not all of it. Well, I mean, it's half Five black more. and half white, and then there's a few squares missing. Yeah, that's on purpose. That's what you can okay. see. That's a over. That's like the top-down view. Okay, so this is a top-down view. But if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see the side view as seen from the east. And you can see that the keep sits up on that hill... And below the village and its walls and the bridge that connects the keep and the village, um, part of it's been missing, shattered, broken. Give me a perception uh, check. I point to it and I say to Jakad, that looks bad. I think I'm not getting the map here, but let me shoot you a picture of what I'm seeing. I think you gotta scroll down. <laughs> and I'm scrolled all the way out. There is no other image except this, which I will send you guys in text for convenience. You know what? At least Matt is being persistent in his perception checks. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's nice. I'm, I figure my nose is always buried into the book, even when I'm kind of walking. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, so I just sent you guys a picture. Really? Where did you send uh, it? A text. Oh, my text. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That doesn't look anything like what I see. No, I think your uh, browser's broken. Okay, I will refresh. <laughs> that is not right. I was like, is, is this really what you did? Uh, all black with like a couple of white squares missing? No, that's different. That's something oh. weird. Okay. That's me zoomed all the way out. All right. Join the game shortly in two. But do one. give me a perception check, everyone. I think I rolled one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. we all did. Oh, okay. 22, all 16, 19, and 6. Oh, this is way different. Okay. Yep. Much I see better. the black overlay. Okay. So before, yeah, it was the, just the black overlay that I saw. That's a success for a 16 and a 19. As a group, you guys succeed. You can see that one of the buildings looks like there's a hole in the roof, a massive hole. You can also see that where that bridge has been collapsed you can see the silhouette through the light of some massive stone that's in the water below. Mm. And the keep itself, it's just shattered. Like, part of it is completely shattered. Herschel stops talking. Oh, thank Morgan. But then he'll <laughs> say, <laughs> <laughs> Um... The drawbridge is on the west. We have to get to the other side. We can cross up ahead. We can cross the bridge. We follow this place. Going. Something bad happened here. It might still be happening. You might want to take your family someplace else, Herschel. Um, I don't know what happened like, there. Um, is there any signs of? I mean, you said we. St- saw some signs of life oh, still and you also morning. heard off in the distance the bell ringing I think I said that already but when yeah. you get closer you can hear the bell ringing constantly continually are you familiar with what that bell means um nothing good that might be the church's bell usually it would just mean that service is in wrong with a bit of extra urgency this day I think so Maybe, yeah. What is the fastest way into the city? Where is you're, this drop? You're thinking of going in there. Of course I am. I sigh. <sighs> I get down and go stand next to my friend. Okay. I would be willing to take a look. Well, I'll, I'll get you across the bridge up ahead. You can approach from the west. That's where the, the drawbridge is. It's across the moat. You could try crossing it from the east, but it'd probably be almost impossible. I'm trying to climb those. Where walls. are we, like here or something? Uh, you're southeast of it. Oh, okay. We're like down. We're like yeah, down there, yeah, kind of. Okay. So I look at Herschel. I say, it didn't take your family in this town. Only death waits in there. Find some place in the plain to wait, where you can see if someone is sneaking upon you. We'll go and take a look. Okay. All right, with me, he yells at the guards. And the surly, but hmm, not Broderick. You didn't get his name. The yeah, other guard, hate, guard right? he's like, I'll go with you. I'm not scared. Herschel says, no, you need to You need to stay with us. We, we hired you. You hired me. I'm my own man. I'm going to go in and see what's what. I just shrug. Hey. Like, okay. I'll be back. Don't You'll go too keep far. Watch on the family. That is your task today. That's what you say to Broderick or to the other to guy? Surly. Oh. I'm coming with you. We need to spread out our resources as much as possible. Let him make his own decisions, lad. Uh. It's like, eh. Let's see how we go. We need you back here, particularly uh, to show Wilfred 
and Broderick ways to protect this caravan. Otherwise, mm. you don't get paid. Otherwise, there is no reason for you to come along at all. Um, what's your wisdom? Wisdom. I'll roll insight. Oh, my, insight this guy. my insight is a plus two. Wisdom is, is uh, ten. Oh, yeah, you can roll an insight. Why does he want to go so bad? It wouldn't tell you why he wants to go, but you can tell as you're talking. The first thing you mentioned to him, the um, protecting of the family, keeping them safe, doesn't actually have any sway in an argument to him, it seems. Mm -hmm. Which is why I switched tactic to getting paid. You switch tactics to getting paid, and you can see something in him that is almost almost ready to go along with what you say. He's like, look, if I need, I can get back quick. I've got a horse. I'm going to go in with you and see what's happening, and then I'll meet back and report to them. There's definitely something else going on with him. He obviously wants to go with you. Hmm. Are we going or what? Come on, let's go. Would you like me to go with to watch your back as well? Oh, isn't that what you're here for? I was mostly here as a guide, however. I can shoot a straight arrow. Herschel yells, Leave the horses! They're not yours. I don't want them dying. I've already lost two. I figured as much. So the Thank guard will jump off the horse. Part. And um, if you guys don't know his name yet, it is actually Guard. G-A-R-D. What's the up? guard's name is Guard? Yep, G-A-R-D. That's awesome. He was born for this life. Hmm. Well, let's head up there. Come on. There is a bridge to the south a little, and a bridge to the north. I'm coming from the south. I think we'd want to get on the south bridge. Okay. So you will head to the south bridge. That's not on the map. We're not shown on the map. And you head west towards the city, towards the village. And while we are moving, I can start revealing the map for you. Does anyone want to do anything in preparation? I do you want to equip your shield? Equipping my shield. <laughs> and I'm going to be uh, near constantly looking over my shoulder back at the caravan. I'm paying attention to any foot traffic that might be happening. <clears throat> seeing if there's any clues that I can get. Was okay, Wilfred so... armed? Wilfred is armed, but not really um, fit for battle. Does, uh, what about Herschel? Does he have any kind of armaments on him? You've seen how large Herschel is, and you would assume that he is not fit for battle. Mm -hmm. So it's just Broderick back there. Just Broderick. So I look at you as you keep looking back. You're obviously, like, distracted. And I say, Vlad, we need your head in the game. They're in Morden's hands now. You saw what those goblins did. One more person hey. back at the caravan wouldn't make a difference. They have enough horses to get away if needed. Flight is their only recourse if it turns bad for them. But you need to focus. Mm. Yeah. Uh, he's obviously kind of conflicted on whether or not one more person is going to matter on this excursion into a, a smoking city. What's you in don't the city see is any smoke. The plane? It's a broken city. Then. Okay. Yeah. I, I tell you, whatever happened to the city is worse than what they'll find in the plane. Best thing we can do is bring back information. Arthur, I'm assuming you're tagging along. Oh, yeah. I'm just... Uh, studying? Yep, yeah, studying. Letting these guys make all the decisions. Okay. So you all head towards 
the drawbridge. And when you get up that way, you cross the bridge, you're headed north into the city, you can see that the drawbridge is down. So when we come around mm -hmm. and just get like up here. Yep. Like, so you're going to go all the way up there. Before you get there, um, Theodore, uh -huh. you do see tracks leading out of the city. Can I tell what are, what they're, what made them? You can roll a survival check for me. Seven. Um, you see multiple sets of tracks. Some are smaller, some are larger. You would guess you've already had a run-in with goblins. Maybe goblins are the smaller tracks. You're not uh, quite sure on that. And the other tracks, probably human or humanoid. Some are uh, larger, flatter feet. It's hard to get a good grasp on it. But you can see them for a little bit, and then they uh, taper off if you try to see where they went. Looks like there was um, many people at once creating these tracks, and then the trail kind of ends. So maybe they spread out or stopped trampling each other's footpath. Okay. And when you guys get up here... You can see into the village itself. So let me reveal that. So I'm I'm looking like especially along here to see if there's any sort of tomfoolery with the actual uh the drawbridge before I step foot on it. So seeing if there's, you know, movement inside the towers or... You're not seeing anything like offhand. Okay. All right, then. Yeah, I have my hammer in hand and my... Cool. Get your shield equipped. Mm-hmm. Wait, Did that do work? I see a thing? Do I see a thing there? Straight down the runway? You do. Give me a perception it... check. I think I see a thing. Just Brian or everyone? Uh, everyone can give me a perception check. That's good, because I'm pretty sure it's a thing. <laughs> Here, let's put well, you guys in front. Oh, yeah, I'm not much better. There is all sorts of stony cannonade in here. Yeah, I'm distracted by the fine stonework. Yeah, I'm just looking fine at all stone these work? rocks. There you it looks go. like somebody <laughs> lobbed a million of these yeah. stones. I'm like, what happened here? You are a little distracted. Wow. Holy crap. That's mm -hmm. a good roll, guys. As a group, you fail, but you do see it. You don't know exactly what it is. It looks like it is some kind of large dog, and it looks like it's um eating Did something on the ground. You gotta head guard in. Yeah, I gotta this. find him. Ah, there's a beastie up ahead. I was just getting your... Can you all control your tokens still? That's one thing I wanted to find out. Mm. I can. Yep. Yep. I cool. feel like we're smaller yeah. compared to the squares. You are. That's a good be. good observation. These squares equal 10 feet. Ah. Because the map is so large. <laughs> oh, okay. That's good to know. So we can only move three squares. You can only move oh, three squares at a time. Well, for yourself. except for the dwarf, you can't <laughs> even move three squares. You're too big. Let me make you smaller. two and a half. One, two and a half. Okay. You hear the bell still ringing, and at this point, you can tell it's coming from the church right there, and that's the bell tower of the church. Hmm. And as you walk in, yeah, you see that creature. It looks up at you, 
but it does not make any movements towards you. It continues feasting on something on the ground. It looks like it's eating something. Oh, I have a good idea what something is. You can kind of hear it growling and grunting as it eats. Fie, beast. Off with you. I try to shoo it. You yell at it? Actually, I'm sure. Yeah, I do. Right. It's like a hundred feet away. And it's I really it's loud. Bad. Like, it's really loud with the bell ringing right next to you. Clang, 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 it doesn't clang, clang. lift its head when you yell at it. I think the time's like so shoot at it. that piece. I. Okay. I will take a shot at it. Okay. I have a longbow. Hey, so wait, it, hey, uh, hey, we don't. We have no cause for wounding this creature. Jock, you're daft. Whatever, it's probably whatever it is. Somebody. I mean, I already As, said I did it. I don't <laughs> want to roll for it. I mean, <laughs> Do you shoot it? We all eat meat. Even I am not a vegetarian. Yeah, I think when... Uh, uh... Jock, it's eating people. We kill things that eat people. It's simple. It's not, it's not uh, Zeppelin science. I forget what uh, Josh's character's name is, but when he starts, yeah, she would have all San Carmen. Diego. That's right. <laughs> San Diego. Got <laughs> so you shoot at it. All right. Go ahead and roll to hit. Oh, you did already. Nice, sweet. You knocked notch an arrow and lob it towards this creature and you hit it straight on you hear it kind of well actually you don't hear it yelp but you can see that its head snaps up and starts charging towards the group roll your initiative I... come on beast <laughs> initiative I wonder if it changes if you roll it again Um, mine didn't roll. Let's try again. Did you roll yours, Theodore? Oop. I did, yes. There we go. Oh, I am so slow. And you're <laughs> a 20, Theodore? Yeah, I don't know why. I... I saw it, and then I didn't see it. Yeah, yours oh, is... That's right. It's underneath my attack. Yeah. Oh, uh, I have to select my token to make it happen. I, get... I know oh, how okay. initiative works now. You do? Okay. Good, because I yeah, don't. Yeah, you select your token, and then you roll initiative. And then it um, puts it on the tracker. It says you wanted to send the result of this roll to the turn try. tracker, but the valid token was selected. Good. So, I'm oh, glad you're figuring out, because I'm not. I got the same thing. I think <laughs> no, you're going to figure it out. Um, but I, I re-rolled, and I got the exact same number. So I don't even have to worry about <laughs> manually changing it. I'm going to just go ahead and manually change it once I roll it. Oop. Yep. Oh, I got worse. That's awesome. I'm actually a two. Okay. Okay. So, uh, write your initiatives right. on there. Will I have time to get an action off before it hits us? Well, it depends on the initiative That's order, right? 10, 15, 10, okay. 10, cool. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Like, 60, well, while Alex 70, was taking 80, a shot. 90. Well, you were arguing about whether to shoot it or not. That's fair. So, it has an 11. Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. Mm -hmm. Do we have guard? Oh guard. yeah, guard. I always forget about these guys. We tried to leave them behind for simplicity's sake. Well, you need someone guard to take us. all the blows, right? <laughs> right. Who need a meat shield? You're at a two, Carmen? Yeah, yeah I'm slow, oh, man. man. Well, you're going with the guard. You can choose to go first or last. It's up to you. I'm going to go before the guard. Okay. All right, it starts charging in as Theodore shot it, and I guess that was Theodore's <laughs> turn. He wasn't well, surprised it saw you. <laughs> it lifted its head up, you shot an arrow at it, and it starts charging in. Go ahead, Jacquard. Uh, So I'm going to... Let's see. 10, 20, 25, 30. Hmm. Okay. 
Um, and I can't do anything there, so I'm actually going to go 10, 20, 30. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I don't think I can do what I was going to do anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it rears its head, and as you get closer, it's a lot larger than you suspected. Yeah. I, at first, I thought it was closer before I decided to full sprint, and it just <laughs> keeps staying small. Yes. Like, oh, <laughs> you can shit. tell that this creature is very large, and it is not a dog. Um, do you still have survival? No. No. It I went with insight instead. Of seems survival. like a large kind of wolf, and it makes it to you in one oh, round man. as it pounces on all fours. And I yell at you, I'm like, Jack, don't go alone, you dumb. F-. Yeah, he doesn't even hear that because you still hear the bells in the background. Ding, 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 Shit. ding, ding, ding. And the creature pounces to attack. Berries. This is horrible. Luckily for you, when it pounces, it tries to bite into you and you throw your shield up in front of it and block its bite completely. <laughs> That was its <laughs> turn. Go ahead next. Arthur? Arthur. Uh, Arthur's not going to be messing around. He has a little, little worried look on his face, but, but he casts Firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> You're all in really good damage today, Arthur. It's amazing. You hit it with the fireball. It streaks across the sky right past Jaka, and when it hits it, it kind of singes the top of its hair as it uh, reaches down to bite into him, and it goes right over the top. <laughs> For one damage. Uh, I say, I say, blasted, and I move over into this little cover area. Okay, you're right next to the bells. Ching, 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 ching. It's loud. Next, Carmen. Okay, I'm going to move up. So that's 10, 25. That's my full movement. I'm so slow. Um, and then I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on Jakad. Okay. Shield of Faith. It lasts 10 minutes, and it gives him a plus 2 AC. Yep. So there you go, buddy. Good luck. Do you want to use anything else? Because that's a bonus action to cast Shield of Faith. Oh, is it? Yeah. And I'll keep running in. So, 10, 25 more. I'm right there. You are so slow. I am very slow. <laughs> and the guard will also... Um... I'm huffing and puffing as I run up, and I'm like, Wait for me, lad! Move to the southern side of this large boulder. And yeah, as you walk into this courtyard, you can see that there are some very, very large rocks, uh, not even rocks, boulders imprinted into the ground. Massive things, probably 10 tons each. Something that, you know, no one can lift. Maybe. Would I have some uh, information because of my giant uh, favorite enemy? Uh, not really. There's large boulders. Okay. You could investigate, but that would um, require more interaction, correct? Let's see, I have advantage and survival checks as well as intelligence checks that call information about them. So, yeah. That was the uh, guard's turn. Mr. Guard. Next. Back to the top, Theodore. Okay. And make sure you're keeping track of your range, too, if you're shooting. Because you have disadvantage over, um, is it 150? Yeah, it's uh, 150 100. to 600. So. He's good, man. Shoot again. That is a hit. This thing hates you. Man. <laughs> and I'll stay where I am. Because I'm liking my position. <laughs> Yeah, you like it back there on the drawbridge. Uh-huh. Yeah, you lob another arrow. It actually goes over Carmen's head. 
and sinks into the beast's flesh. Thud. Chakad. All right. We blink our eyes slowly in a little bit of resignation and swing seas. Okay. You're looking at this creature, and man, when it's close, it is a terrifying beast with a really long, thin muzzle and a two full rows of very sharp teeth. Its eyes are kind of a, a beady red, and its hair is a coarse, thick gray hair running across the rest of its body. Its claws are really long, like two inches each. And so. you flail at it for nine, which is a miss. Yep. It just dodges out of the way of your flail, and you move to the side. It turns around and follows you and tries to pounce once more. And wow. Apparently, a, when I kill guards, I'm very double. good. And when I'm attacking you guys, I'm very bad. <laughs> That's a good thing for us. <laughs> right. It tries to Just bite you. It highlights in. the distinction between us and normal guards. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You just plant your shield into the ground as a complete barrier to this creature's attacks. Go ahead, Arthur. Does that reveal any more of the map over here? Oh, yeah, yeah I can do that while we're doing see. that. There's four more. <laughs> this bell is so loud and boof. I miss. What'd you roll, Total? Six. Uh, oh, you botched. Yeah, he botched. What happens? You know my rule uh, that it's not um, something terribly bad, but you get to describe it. You can make it comical. You don't have to. No, uh, you know, I think just right now it's a pretty open area. It just shoots right past it, and I'm getting frustrated. Okay. What if you look at the line on there? Can you see the line? Maybe you burn the wood no. building <laughs> no that would be Brian's option come on it's <laughs> yeah it's still just game one alright I'll, I'll select and remove probably here I'm just gonna do more revealing quickly that way I'm not sitting here doing this all day alright and after Arthur is Carmen Okay, well, my friend has it engaged in melee. Mm -hmm. um, so I am going to pull out a hand axe and chuck it. Oh, okay, you're going to stay ranged. Yeah, I'm going to stay where I'm at. Okay. And I'm going to throw a hand axe. I've never used a hand axe, before, so here we go. Well, bam. Did it do it? <laughs> well, you did well, it. No, you I'll threw it. it at the creature, and it just whiffs, and it actually lands behind him. So your hand axe uh, is now right there. Okay. Well, that didn't work. You know what? I've just decided I'm bad at this, so <laughs> I'm just going to do this. He's going to walk in the bro. melee range after you tried yeah. that. Got it. Got it. I'm like, whatever, man. Here, maybe I'll distract a little bit with my juicy dwarven ass. Maybe. Um, the guard will just use his bow for now. He kind of likes where he's at, and he'll go to shoot. And apparently I can't roll above a three lately, so um, <laughs> the arrow goes wide just over his head. Is that your hand axe right there someone put in? Sure. Trying to draw it. <laughs> it's actually really hard to draw on this. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, man. It's good enough. And back to the top, Theodore. Okay, hey, I'm actually going to move 10, 20, 30 in. So feeling a little more confident, hitting it twice and a shoot one more time. So you do um, get close. It goes right between its legs as it pounces up at Jakad, and the arrow clatters to the ground east of him. Uh, the move and shoot did not work. No. Jakad. Okay. Um, again, I do, I do not much but swing my flail. And so... I swing my flail. That is what you do. 
But this time you Let do it, it well. Yeah, so with actually do I even get advantage because of flanking things right now? Or is that No, uh, that's uh that alternate rule. rule. Right? I don't I don't use that alternate we rule. To every other alternate rule in the game. Not <laughs> everyone. <laughs> you that's... hit it. Roll for stats. Okay. Uh, I roll. I hit, and he takes six. You bludgeon it right across the snout. It's like, (laughs) and you are its sole focus. It goes to bite. What is your AC? Right now it's twenty. Oh my god! Because armor of faith, Josh put on me. Well, I'm assuming you cast it on me. Yeah, I did. Yes. That's why I had to get close enough before I cast. (laughs) Again, you deflect the blow with ease where even without this uh, magical aura of protection around you, you feel confident that you'd been able to deflect this blow, this bite. Next. I smack my my cheeks a little bit. Come on, Arthur. This is your first battle, Arthur. Ever. Ever. The top cheeks or the bottom cheeks? Right. <laughs> <laughs> God. Damn, those are awesome. So wow. Good. Rolled so two good. damage he instead of one. <laughs> he always That's hits. That's like your crit. <laughs> yeah, you doubled your damage output, man. Way to go. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> okay. And I'll duck back into cover. You just, like, pop out real quick. Yep. This blasted bell. And the guard managed to get the killing blow. He puts an arrow in right through its eye. And the creature goes down hard and loud. It thuds to the ground. Only you two that are right by it, Jakad and Carmen, can hear the thud as it hits the ground. Because in the background, you still hear the bells ringing. Give me a perception check. Just um, Jacquard and Carmen. Perception. 24. Hmm. Yeah. Less than 24. Okay, so you're pretty distracted by this creature who is trying to eat your face. <laughs> um, I've got other things going on right now. <laughs> but Carmen, up in the bell tower from this angle, you can see someone actually ringing the bell. Well, that's where I was going to go next anyways. <laughs> You okay. couldn't see it from the other view, but here you can see someone ringing it madly, um, just consistently, constantly. Okay, I run, pick up my hand axe. Good and call. I run back in that direction. That was all your movement. <laughs> 10, 15, 20, you can't 25, get that 30. Hey, dudes, is, um, are we going to be t- taking break? Shortly? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. That's my double move is there. Okay. Where's the doorway to the tower? <clears throat> you didn't see it's it. The, the you do <laughs> see a doorway actually right there into the right. church. Here? Right here. See where the path leads oh. in? Then I'll be that way instead of the other way. Smart. Oh, you mean on this side? Yeah. Up here? Oh, Okay. I'm not seeing I'll, your ping, Ryan. You're not I'll seeing that? Here. No. This right here, right? What That's the heck? It. Oh, maybe I'm on the wrong layer. It? How about this now? There you go. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm running towards that doorway. I'm still learning the program. Sorry. <laughs> Are you still in turn order or no? Um, combat's over. You run towards the church's front door, and it is locked. Okay. I knock on it. I say, let us in. We're here to help. I don't believe he can hear with all that bell ringing. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) he's close to it. Is there a window I can go through? You see a shuttered window, but it's like 10 feet high. I I yell at uh, at Jack. Jack, I need a boost. (laughs) Boost me. (laughs) Uh, I sigh and come back from this way. For sure. Come here. <laughs> Boast me up the window. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hold up my hands, do the one knee crouch. 
I think gonna... you actually have to like stand up and I have to stand on your shoulders to get me to ten feet. Well, yeah, but I got to get you up to my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Let's do it. Athletics roll. Are um, getting in? I no, you won't need an athletics for that. Okay. While they're getting in, I'm going to just kind of walk over to this boulder and start investigating it. Yeah. I was uh, give me an investigation one. check. Thank you. Should I roll as well or no? Um, are you Jesus. doing a different boulder? So you're kind of on separate yeah. tasks? Yeah, go ahead and do your own yep. separate roll. It's a boulder, <laughs> Arthur. It is well, I was, you know, yeah, wrong. Okay. <laughs> I was, okay. I was just trying to see where it came from. Like, so um, as I stepped all right, to, with an can eleven. I, can I do, can because I you're specifically like, asking where it came from, right? With an eleven, you can actually tell something's <sighs> odd about this. There is no trail of a divot in the ground. There's okay. nothing it like. It was lobbed this way. It looks like it right, fell right. straight down into the ground down. and made a, a large crater into the earth where it rests. Can I roll Arcana? Um, sure. It's prob- okay. Is it magic? I'm going to seeing if I can go into this watchtower, by the way, and climb up and get a better vantage. It's a boulder. Damn it. <laughs> So uh, as I step into your hand, I say, no, 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 no. You climb me. You go first. You're better at people talking. And then I stand up against the wall next to the window, put my hands in the wall, and I motion you to my shoulder. Mm, and I go through the window. All I'm right. a bit better at climbing, too, if I don't imagine correct. The shuttered yeah. window is closed, but he lobs you up on his shoulders, and you could just, um, you'd have to break the shutters because they're also locked. Okay. Just like, uh. Are these super wooden shutters? Look, and like looking at the rooftops, I'm guessing this is an easy like just my gauntleted hand is enough. Oh yeah, you could um, <laughs> it's not quite thatch, but it's not very sturdy wood. That's it. Yeah, so I just reach my hands in and just kind of crumple. <laughs> you reach your hands in, you crumple the wood, and you get a better view of the layout of the building and right over there can you see my ping this time yep mm-hmm. you see two goblins hacking away at a door with little scimitars ah. oh okay um and is this the only door i see this I see any other is the main entrance to the church you did not see any but you haven't gone around the whole entirety so, of it so these goblins came in through here and then barred the door behind okay weird what do you <laughs> see and i lobble myself through he's like there's goblins inside oh he says shit. as he disappears from <laughs> and you then I, and I lobs throw himself, myself inside. like like worm through i'm guessing i land on my back or something <laughs> yeah you clatter to the ground Ka-thump. you actually hit a table that was set up right under the window to catch the sunlight and you smash into it and break it completely just shatters <laughs> the last thing i heard from him was there's goblins inside that he left right. into the window yep dude, mm-hmm. dude i'm gonna oh, need a, a break before we get into another combat we're gonna break right now matt <laughs> yeah. jesus buddy <laughs> Uh-huh. Wear a diaper like the rest of us. Yeah, <laughs> pee in a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've got my kids potty in here. I'm doing fine. <laughs> I got a Nalgene. I got I got an in Nalgene and an out Nalgene. Jakad, you uh, me. jumped into the building. Well, actually, you're kind of pushed up and into the building where there are two goblins hacking away at a door. You clattered down to the ground. You smashed into a table. And let's see if they even notice you. They have disadvantage. Uh, Yeah, when you smashed into the table, you stand up, you have your shield ready, and they look at you. Should we keep the same initiative order to make it easy? Sure fine with that all right let me add them in okay. 
So they're going to go after you. You are standing up. You look at them. Mm. What are you doing, Chicago? All right. Um, so I am laying on a bed of splintered table. But standing yeah, up. Yeah, you stood up. Five feet of movement, Brand. Um, but standing up. Um, and then there's... Because he's uh, an athletic? Is that why? Yep. So, Athlete yep. only Athlete. cost me five feet to stand up. Got it. And so the uh, the the door that I just bypassed is it barred from the inside? Is it's it just locked? Just locked, like a like a deadbolt. Um, not quite. Uh, you don't know how it's locked, but you I could try to turn the knob. Something. Well, I was gonna unlock it from the inside, but I guess since I can't see what I'm looking at, like a a little latch and chain. Nope, no latch and chain. In fact, all you see is a large wooden door with a doorknob, and it doesn't even seem like there's a keyhole on it. Oh, Uh, well then, yeah, I'll try to turn the handle. You do. You pop the handle out, and it has some kind of mechanism in the handle itself that locks it. Not very secure. Like your bathroom. Hmm. Kind of, yeah. Gotcha. (laughs) Yeah, so I just muckle onto it and give it a twist and open the door. And you open Sweet. the uh, wooden door and it reveals your friend right next to the door, which is Carmen. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much of my action... That was part of your movement. That, full action? that was part of my movement? You can open a door as part of your movement. Okay. And then I'll turn and say, I have a friend who would like to meet you. I fucking hate <laughs> goblins. <laughs> He's just like backlit. <laughs> <laughs> and I will do 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 because I know that I can move the 25 feet and get there. <laughs> yeah, and you can still act. And then I can, yeah, I'm going to, as I'm moving this last five feet, mm-hmm. I'm going to be doing like a happy Gilmore. I'm going to twirl my mace, and I'm going to try to do the uppercut as I get there. Sure, they're standing in between a small aisle of benches near the back um, where there is another set of doors. And you flail away, but uh, he just nimbly dances to the side, and your flail goes up and around, and you have to kind of duck so it doesn't get you on the whip around. Yep. That's what you get when you happy Gilmore sometimes. <laughs> Arthur, the door is opened. I call out Ranger. And uh, to get the Ranger's attention, uh, move forward. Okay. I see a goblin, and I firebolt. You do see two goblins. You firebolt. Hey. Is that a hit? hit of 13? Let me see if that hits. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is not a hit. It, uh, it. It's a little dexterous wow. creature who dances to the side, and you hit the door they've been hacking away at, and it lights a little bit. Oh, it's not a big fire yet. <laughs> um, I'm gonna end. I'm going to move to the side of the door. <laughs> of course. So I'm not gonna enter the building. Okay. Get, get in cover. The guard guard moves southeast mm, towards these other buildings. And your ranger, your guide. Where are you going, Mr. Ranger? You went into the tower, right? Uh, Yeah, did I see anything in the tower? So last turn, you took your time to get into the tower and go all the way to the top. There is a ladder that goes straight up of this battlement, and when you get to the top, you have a much better view of the city, the village. So I will go ahead and reveal it. You have a really good view, actually. Let's just reveal the whole thing. So, in the southern eastern corner, you see two goblins. Um, They're pretty far off, but they look like they have um, weird little heads. It's hard to tell exactly. <laughs> weird little heads. 
There are goblins. two goblins playing around in the northeastern corner of the map as well. Well, time Shit. to do your thing, bro. So, um, so I will attack that goblin at disadvantage. You can actually reach that goblin? He can reach everything yeah. in the town. I have a 600 range for disadvantage. 600 range? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is his thing. This is what he was built to do. He's doing what he was built to do. Let's see your disadvantage hit. Actually, oh, nice. are you even at disadvantage? Because you're at 150, yeah. right? 10, 20, These 30, are 10 foot 40, squares. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yeah, I have a 75 10. foot radius put on me because to compensate for the 10 foot squares. So I don't have anything inside not, my range. They're not actually like I put on a ten foot radius, and it, it still covers. It doubled up. Yeah, I think your radius is wrong there, Mister Theodore. Yeah, your radius doesn't didn't account for it. Like if you count ten for each one, um, you're at a hundred and thirty to those goblins. This is correct. Ten twenty. 30, okay, so you can hit them with regular. Shots. Okay. So it's actually a normal shot then. So I'll just use my first one then. That's what you would have used anyways. Cause you would have hit regardless. And you mm -hmm. deal nine piercing damage. Um, You one shot the creature from this, that this is... far away. <laughs> this is your thing. This yep. is what you do. It just it's... falls over. You can't even hear it die. That was your turn. You can move still. Uh, I'm going to stay where I am. Okay, Good call. Just do your thing, bro. Yep. Shoot that one. I have a bad feeling about him. <laughs> <laughs> I just revealed the whole map for you. Go ahead, Jacquard. Oh, I never got a turn, guys. Oh, you didn't get a turn? Nope. Are no, you after? Oh, yeah, I missed you because um, it covered oh, you, you up. Oh, because you have to scroll down. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, on that. Carmen. He opened the door. He said, uh, someone wants to meet you. I said, I hate fucking goblins. And then I run in. And an orc, I say, uh, I don't know, something about Maglubiot and his sticking asshole. And then I hit him with my hammer. Do you have religion? I do. Okay, so you know a little bit about it. And mm -hmm. then you swing. Let's see. Warhammer. Yeah. It'd be fun to make a cleric that has no knowledge of religion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow. they use this. You smash you its head damage. in. You just cave its head completely in. Thump. And then I look at the other one and I say, Orc, you're next. Okay. Okay. I don't think they got a turn either. So they're going to go... Uh, out of order a little bit, and then we'll go right back to Jakad, I think. Yeah, I'm still skipped to turns, so it'll be Jakad next. But this guy runs, and he's going to disengage. He's going to run past you, Arthur. You could try to hit him on his way by. No, if he takes the disengage, then Arthur can't hit him. Even if he runs by a different creature? I think. Yeah, his, his, his action for his entire action is he, he's making sure that. He's making eye contact with everybody. Okay. Right. He disengages as a bonus action and runs cowardly away. That was his turn. <laughs> <laughs> Next is Jakad. You can um, still catch him, but you have to double move. I am more interested in protecting this person. So I come over to the door. Um, the door would open away from you into the next room. Mm -hmm. And it's not locked, but it feels like it's jammed. Like you try to push against it and there's something barricading it, blocking it. You can see the uh, top part of the door as you're pushing in as hard as you can kind of bend inward where you can get a crack of what this next room is. And it looks like it's a small hall and you see a ladder through the crack. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm going to wedge my 
fingers in between the door and the frame and then push. Give me an athletics check. Sixteen is a very hefty push. You snap the top left corner of the door completely Bow. off. You shear it. And is that enough for me to squirm through? You can squirm through. You're wide. You're you're a pretty big dude, right? Uh, I mean, relative. Let's see. Did I put it in the description? I don't remember how. Well, you gave me a picture, and your your picture. You are oh, a yeah. unit. Six, six foot three, <laughs> two sixty five. I'm like a defensive end. Two, you're, you're like the fridge. <laughs> Correct. You're very wide, but you could um, shove yourself through. You probably end up breaking a little more of the door off as you do it. Yeah, I'll open it up for my dwarf buddy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I burrow through the earth. <laughs> All right, Arthur. Uh, I turn my attention to the goblin. That was running right by you? Yep. Kind of took you by surprise because you stepped out of the way of the door. Yeah. And it just came running through as fast as it can. All right. Uh, uh, Come on, Arthur. I say to myself... And you do it. And this time, you manage to... Um, how does your fire bolts look? Uh, uh, it's like a, it's a little ball with a trail at the end. And they kind of spiral, like with fire, fire spirals, trails behind it. Trails of fire spirals. How do you say that? Anyway, yeah, that, that works. That's what it looks like. <laughs> And when it connects, the goblin goes down and hits the ground. One I'm shot. I'm going to get a smile, a smile on my face of relief. All right. And I will uh, move in Okay. to the building. Only you, Mr. Theodore, see that the guard goes to the door of this building down here, opens it, and goes inside. Where did he go? He went into... That's interesting. ...this building down here, and you lose track of it. I don't know. Yeah, I I don't even know what's going on. That was his turn, and now it's your turn again, Carmen. So the doorway is open? Yeah. Well, more or less, it was barricaded. And what it was, it was like just some pieces of furniture. Looks like a dresser that was pushed up against the door. Your friend, the paladin, snapped the top half of the door completely off. So you could just climb up and through the hole. You'd be standing on top of the dresser. All right. I do it. All right, you push your way through right next to your friend. And across the small hall, you see a ladder going up into the tower. I go up the ladder. You get up partway on the ladder. Can I double go? Yeah, climbing through and partway up the ladder would be your whole 50 movement of feet. 50 feet of movement. That's horrible. Yeah, you're slow. All right. And you climb at half speed. Oh, you know what? Then fuck that. I don't go up there. Okay. I know that he's like the monkey. So I go, I look in, I see what's going on. I say, shut out that guy in the tower. And then I 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I go out here. Okay. So you leave him so there. I, I want to see. He's got it covered, man. We killed the goblin. We're good as far as I'm concerned. He's safe in there. Okay. Sounds fair. My faith is shielding him a little longer. So I come out and look to see where everybody else went. Sure. So you see Arthur, who went into the building. You lose sight of him as you go out. And uh, what's your passive perception? Fifteen. Fifteen is enough to see your ranger friend on top of the tower which is right over here. Lob and arrows. 
Oh shit, where are the arrows going? Well, you saw one arrow. No, you didn't see anything. Where's the arrow going, Theodore? It's your turn. Uh, well, one arrow, you should probably X this guy because he went down. Which one? This one? Yeah, that one. And I'm going to shoot for that one next. So that's where you see the next arrow going is oh, geez. down there. Yep. And so... wow, again, thump, just some, from so far away. <laughs> There's like a <laughs> four second delay. La, la, la. And then you see the creature <laughs> tumble over. <laughs> I wave my hands to get his attention. Okay. Could I do something else? Sure. Just uh, point out the uh, the building here. Be like, the other guard went in there. Okay, cool. All right, so he points towards that building, which... Um, this one? Yeah. Didn't, didn't he mark it? One? Yeah. Okay, cool. You're not really sure what kind of building it is, but he points it out. I probably can't hear him either because the bell's still going, so I just see him point and his mouth's moving. Correct. Ah, okay. okay. That was your turn? Yep, that was my turn. Next? Um, uh, see. Theodore, so Jacquard. It is me. All right, so I'll get to the ladder and begin the ascent. I guess I don't know how I have a... Is it just going up one floor? Is it just, do yeah, I it goes up it? like 20 50 feet. 50 feet up. Okay. Um, enough that it towers above the palisades around the village. But mm -hmm. you get to the top and there is a trap door at the top. Like a hatch. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> You could uh, push on it, and when you do, it's not budging. Mm -hmm. um, you can hear the bells really loud from here. Clang, 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 clang and you can he kind of hear um, footsteps shuffling as they're moving and trying to ring the bell. completely constant, or is there quieter times in between? There's um, slight intervals sometimes. Like pockets of silence. I mean, if I would love to holler out and try to get his attention. All right. But uh, I guess I, I'm having trouble imagining what kind of value that might add. But um, I will attempt to time it during the quieter intervals and just yell, Peace, friend, you are saved. Okay, the bell stops ringing. Who, who, who's there? Who's there? The Order of the Gauntlet is here on your behalf. Oh, thank the gods I saw you from far away. I was... You hear like a click, tick, ching, and the hatch door pulls open and you see what looks like a priest standing there looking up his skirt. <laughs> Looking down yeah. at you. <laughs> it's hello, father. Must be breezy. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to. <laughs> for breezy purposes. Right. Um, and I will. Yeah, I'll say. Uh, um, what what has befallen you? Um, I I saw some goblins rummaging through. I. I honestly can't tell you what happened. Uh, I. All right, all right. Uh, Relaxed. We're still dealing with the goblins. He's kind of shaking a little, <laughs> like his adrenaline's rushing. Uh, this old balding priest, he looks a little bit frail, so he's a little winded from ringing the bell consistently. Yeah. Come, come down. At, at the worst, if one of these buildings were to catch fire, what would you do? Throw yourself at the rooftop? Come down. Be sensible. Um, okay. Okay. He will go down with you. That'll be your action. Yeah. Figured that'll take a while. All right. So I go over here. And I'm going to investigate this. Scott, 
one and search him for anything okay noteworthy sure each goblin that are now laying dead on the floor have a sack next to them that's um kind of spilled open and you see one of the sacks it looks like they've been pillaging and looting things from the temple so one has like some blocks of incense that are spilling out of it you search through the other sack and you find a holy symbol of Miliki, shaped like a unicorn's head, and some other personal effects that are probably worthless, but they stole them anyways. There are three empty vials that might have contained holy water at one point, but you see one of the gallons that's dead has like a trail of water down its chin and down its shirt where it probably drank them. What was the holy symbol? A holy symbol of Mieliki. M I E L I K K I. So nature god. Probably from this temple itself. Okay, I'll gather it, everything in. I'll brush it, everything into a sack. And I'll tie it back up. Okay. And carry that. That's my. That's my turn. You combine everything into one sec and throw it over your shoulder. Let the looting begin. <laughs> Seriously? That's the belongs to the lo- church, bro. <laughs> I know, man. I'm going to give it back. Just give me a chance. You don't know any of this, Carmen. I know. I know. I'll just give him shit. <laughs> Speaking of, that would make it your turn, Carmen. Okay, so now that the bell's not ringing, yell at Ranger. Woodsman, what do you see? Uh, you can reply back. Okay, I'll uh, let you know that the guard went in that uh, house down. Okay. Down here. So he yells, um, Woodsman, what do you see? And uh, can I also tell him that I'm. I train my sights up here? Sure. Because there are two goblins up there? Sure. I mean, I think he must want me to go look in this building because he's pointing in it at its direction. So that's where I'm going. I'm going to go look for a guard. Okay. That's my double move. That was your turn. And back I to the top, the Theodore. Up. I try to come at the building so that you can't see me up. Oh, uh, I miss for once. You do, Theodore. You take a shot all the way at that northeast corner of the village. And it sticks into the thatch roof before it even gets to the goblins. That's my turn. Chakad. You climb down the ladder with the priest. Mm -hmm. Where you still see the broken door. You can just shove the dresser out of the way of the door if you want. It won't take you much effort at all with a strength of 16. You just grab the corner and push it out of the way. Okay. Yep, and I'll open the door, um, take a quick peek out. What do we got going on here? Looks like we have a thieving wizard <laughs> doing some. <laughs> He's got some the uh, goblins' sacks tied up, and do you have it slung over your shoulder, or do you have it like set on a table? No, I I just have it in front of me. Okay. Yeah. He has all the uh, stuff that was looted collected in front in a sack. Yeah, I'm. That's the least of our worries right now, to be honest. So I just make sure that the goblin is not moving, and um, he would be safe to be in here. And so then I'm going to... That goblin's yeah. not moving. That's the one that um, Carmen caved its head in. Okay. Um, are, there, are there other entrances and exits to this building? There's other than one other exit, uh, northern side towards the uh, graveyard. Okay, up here. Um, I'll just check on that exit real quickly. And my eventual plan probably over the next two turns is to leave, but to make sure that this building is relatively secure. Okay. Clear the building. Sounds fair. Arthur. The priest kind of looks at you. Um, Yeah, he's a little shaken 
Uh, my my friend, um, did did Lady Verosa send you? Uh, no, we. <laughs> I don't believe. Uh, he, I believe these are yours, and <laughs> I kind of like push the bag because I can't throw it. Over to him. <laughs> oh, she, should have gone with that floating disc, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and good ritual. Good ritual. Uh, I'll go see what the other goblin had that fled the. Um, you already looted what he had when he up and ran. He ran without yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, then I'll just be like, uh, I'll walk. Walk over and look out with Jakai. All right, so you look up north towards the graveyard, and it is just that. Um, a relatively undisturbed graveyard, except for the couple stones. That one has completely smashed a tombstone. <laughs> now I look at Jakai, and I, I guess I'll just say, uh, uh, I finally got one. <laughs> well done, son. <laughs> right. All right, and while you do that, those guys get out of the line of fire. I bet they do. <laughs> Fuck this. Go ahead, Carmen. Okay, so I'm going to go check on the dude. Yeah, you're uh, going into the feet. building? Yeah, I, I run in the building. All right, you see, see that the guard is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a goblin right now. Um, oh, fuck that noise. It looks like right now, so far, neither has managed to mortally wound the other, or even wound at all. And the fighting is commencing. Well, uh, where's the goblin? Let me... I gotta fix this. Reveal! And... Oh, it's actually run past the guard to get in there. No, there he is. That's Damn, my that. stubby legs. <laughs> well, I spend my... I throw a hand axe at him. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't learned your lesson yet. Fuck you, goblin piece of shite. Throw the hand axe. It's the one you just started with mobile. <laughs> yeah, no shit, right? Well, I have great damage with my hand axe. I put my hand axe in his skull. <laughs> Slap! Wow. You throw your hand axe straight into the forehead of this creature. <laughs> and when you came into this building, the first thing you'd have seen besides, like, um, the guard and him fighting would be... Right above the entrance is a circular blue shield emblazoned with the golden lion. And uh, do you have any history? Just religion. Okay, just religion. So you don't know exactly what that symbol would mean. Nope. But yeah, it's a small, what you would think is a trading post. The goblin goes down. And you can actually hear it dying now that the bells have stopped ringing. He just looks at you and starts rummaging through the goblin's pockets. Doesn't even so there's say no anything. time for that now. There's more goblins afoot. Come, we need you. I'll be right there. I'll be right oh, behind you. Shite. Well, I guess I I cuss at him. Say, oh, fuck you, piece of shit. I walk up and I retrieve my hand axe. All right, you pull it out of the goblin's skull. He didn't uh, loot the hand axe. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> No. And I can get that far back out of the building. Amazing. So you come in, throw a hand axe, and leave. Yep. I did my due diligence. <laughs> All right. That was your turn. Go ahead, Theodore. Uh, I'm going to hold my action because I saw him go behind the building here. Uh, into the building. Into the building? In here? Where? Uh, oh, up I'm north. going to. I'm sorry. Which one? Point out where you're looking at. Uh, so they went there, or they went behind the building. Oh yeah, they went here. into the building. You think? 
Okay, I'm gonna hold my action for if they come out of the building here or here. I'm gonna shoot one of them. Okay. That was your turn, Jakob. Um, uh, I was gonna come over here and make sure that the as long as this building is secured, uh, I recommend that the priest stay there. Yeah. Um. Good call. And then I was actually going to do a sweep to the next building. But uh, let's see. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Wow. Okay. Double move over to there. You move so far. You move fast. <laughs> so you are uh, near the entrance. The door is slightly open. Give me a perception check. Perception check. It's funny. I'm actually out here looking for humans and stuff, but these freaking goblins keep getting out of my way. <laughs> 11. <laughs> 11. Um, you hear the sound of footsteps inside. Ah, humans. Wonderful. <laughs> I, I, I yell out. Of little feet. I, I, must I, be children. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I yell out. Peace, friends. The Order of the Gauntlet is here to rescue you. Okay. Arthur. <laughs> Move up behind him. Okay. That takes you one <laughs> movement. And I, I'm a little bit sketchy. So uh, I hold my action, and if I see goblins or anything like try to attack Jakad, I'll just blast Okay. firebolt. Sounds fair. You're a bit jumpy. Young mm -hmm. yeah. Carmen. Um... Ah, uh, see, this is the part where I wish that. But you wish I that what? The... My hair cut up more like me. Oh, I leave the obviously awesome shield because Carmen doesn't loot. That's not his thing. Well, it's just a a symbol shield. It's not like awesome. I mean, I have a symbol on my shield too. Yeah, and yours is more important to you and sentimental. Plus, right, that's exactly. the uh, symbol above the door entrance. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if I were if I were my thief, I would totally jack. I'd say 10. Well, you could go looting if you want. 15, 20, no. 25, I come over here to peek in this other building. Okay. So um, I find those fuckers. So that's, there's a I door, and then there's a newly made door from being smashed to oblivion. Oh, fuck yeah. Well, then I double move into the building. <laughs> okay. So you get into the building. It looks like it's a little cottage um, where someone would make their home. You're not really sure whose it would be but you can loot it through it if you want no one's in there no i'm not looting it i just want to see if there's any goblins in there there are no goblins in there all right come back out then uh, that's about as far as i can get so i run in take a peek for goblins come back out okay and then i yell up at the tower woodsman what do you see <laughs> <laughs> two goblins in the building to the north okay cool okay sounds good that was your turn. And you can get a good view from here. Um, God, what's your name? Jakad. Theodore. And Arthur. That this building is the Nightstone Inn. There's actually a sign swinging in front of the door. Wait, so this one says the Nightstone Inn? That one. Um, you also saw there is another entrance into this building if you want. A very a open, wide there? open oh. entrance. <laughs> oh, another way in. Um, and so this door is slightly ajar here, right? Yep. Um, and is it going to swing in or out? Uh, it'll swing in. Okay. Yeah, I'll just push, push the door open as I step inside. Okay. As four goblins have arrows knocked and shoot. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, yes. They were waiting for fear, you to come fear, in. Fear not. 
I I am here to rescue you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope. Oh. Oh. She well shield of faith, bro. So, well, my yeah, my AC is twenty right now because of your. Yeah, but that first two. guy, he got you. I mean, that's so. You reveal yourself where the first goblin that has his arrow knocked rolls a critical strike. Thump. Shoots this is the first damage I think I've done to anyone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which I'm really surprised at. Give it to me. Oh, I'm going Good job to. to kill somebody. I was just stayed together. Fuck. Well, it was either me or the wizard takes us. <laughs> so let's see what happens. Oh, why, why are you you're down. You're down. I'm not seeing anything from your. He rolls a d6. He rolls oh, a d6. You rolled Double max, you rolled max damage on a crit? Of course I'm down. That's yeah. what max damage on a crit means. <laughs> well, I have to roll 2d6, <laughs> yeah. so. Oh, you oh. don't double? No, you don't double okay. unless it's over five dice, remember? Okay. Why? Yeah, why are your, your dice rolls all just ar- arbitrary? Because he's not. Clicking on the stat block. If I do it on the stat block, it rolls twice because I have two windows open. Oh. I'll fix that for next week. I think I can use Chrome and Firefox. Oh, that makes sense. So that way I'm not having two windows open on the same browser. Gotcha. Okay. So that's why. So I'm, we're just seeing your dice. And it sure. might still actually fail that way, too. I don't know. Seven, eight, nine. So you deal nine plus damage. two. Nine plus two? Plus two. The first arrow strikes true right into your neck, and it kind of was sticking partway through the side of your neck and out. If you pulled hard enough, it would pull that flap of skin completely off, and blood starts pouring down your neck. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) That's really bad, dude. Um, so you still have movement left. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I want to go back out. Close yeah, the door. Uh, yeah, because you can't. <laughs> um, question. Does my reaction go off? Yeah. I'll say you can see one from this angle. Uh, you saw one plant an arrow right in his neck, because they were also holding their action if anyone came in. Once the bell stopped okay. ringing and they were getting shot at. Well, I get a, but then I'll get another action on my turn, correct? Yes, because that was your reaction okay. from last Sorry. turn. Right, all right, good deal. That's you hear a little goblin shout for joy. Yeah, <laughs> that's and my firebolt. My <laughs> firebolt botches. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> uh, and this is how it this happens. One, right here, this folks. one will hit the back of the wall, and maybe a small fire starts. Pew. Yes, it does. Pew. Except it doesn't hit the back of the wall. It hits the door right here, and a small fire starts. <laughs> Giving your next attack um, partial cover. Oh, wish I had Spell Sniper now. Uh, is it my turn now? And it's your turn. Okay. Wait, so can, I'm I, actually, uh, can I see uh, any... I can, I can I mean, still I'm across the see that here. one. All right, one person at a time. Yeah. I My, my turn oh, sorry. consisted of taking... Five steps forward and five steps back, one step backwards. And then he reacted Hilarious. and they reacted. So finish yeah. your turn. I lay on hands. <laughs> Good call. By buddy. which I grab my own throat and <laughs> the magic happen. All right. So you grab your own throat. How much do you want to heal? Um, five is what you can do. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to do f- it right now. It's five for level. Yeah. So you heal five health to your four. neck. Four. Four health to your four. neck. Saving one. One, two, three, four. Heal. Smart call. All the other arrows are kind of stuck in the door. You see one get smacked with a firebolt and lights on fire. So yeah, I have five hit points at the moment. Mm. And what else are you mm. doing? No, that's good. I just wanted to make sure I got that out of the way before. Do I move anymore? <laughs> before the vo- the volley came. Um, so the the door is relatively closed. Open. Right Can there? I close it? Uh, you opened it as part of your movement. Uh, so uh, you could use your action to close it. No. I'm going to lift my shield back up. 
between me and the goblins to protect any volley from my squishy mage friend. Okay. Squishy mage friend, it's your turn. Uh, can I, can I see how the goblins are grouped together at all? Uh, you need to get a little closer. You can see one from your angle. I'll, uh, I'll step in a little bit. Mm-hmm. Can I see him? Yeah, you can see him through the crack in the door. You'll also not have partial cover this time. All right. That was how, 10 feet of your movement. How are these guys grouped? There's one over here. Oh, I should. I didn't even reveal them. I'm sorry. I can see him on my end. Oh, yeah. Boom. There you go. Oh, snap. It looks I a lot worse cast, that way. I'm going to yeah. cast Ice Knife. On this guy, and I'll I'll pop that up in. On which guy? On the middle of those three. So right there. And I'll cast. God, please say it hits. Yep. Uh, twenty-four is a hit. So you form a knife of ice in your hand, and you fling it. <laughs> And when it hits the creature, it explodes. The target takes a d10 piercing damage, so five. And then each mm -hmm. creature and the target within five feet of it must save on a dex save. So that's three dex saves. Let's just do them all at the same time. I'll do all three. One saves, two do not. And so I roll 2d6? Nope, it already rolled it. He already did it. Eight damage. Oh, okay. To each of the two Sorry. that do not. Yep, Ooh. so... Three goblins. In one shot, you do. You smoke two of the three. It's pretty good. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and then... Spend... Five... Ten... Fifteen... I'll go back there. Okay. You can kind of see this goblin through the shutters of the window of the inn. This guy. You can duck if you want. Uh, I'll duck. <laughs> <laughs> um, these two move in. They feel cornered. The door is still open, so they pull it open and go to attack. And they're going to try to stick together. Am I together. able to see him? Oh, God, you're still around. I keep forgetting about you, Theodore. <laughs> um, That's a good question. Uh, they're I right up against the door. I'll give you that shot. It's kind of over the roof. Do you? Yeah. It would also be cover, like partial cover. Okay. I don't so think it matters when you roll a 24. <laughs> You see an arrow appear from the heavens, piercing into this poor goblin's head as they move in. Sah! This one will still attack you, Jakad. Somnambulist. On my next turn, all I do is move there. I'll be right back. Nope. Well, it's 17 plus. So 17 plus. Four. Is it a plus three? Oh, then yep, yeah, that's a hit. He hits you with the scimitar. Four. A D6 plus two. Three damage. Wow. <laughs> I laugh in the face <laughs> of your damage. Two, three. Damage. He tries to uh, slit your throat, but instead you kind of redirect the blow and it hits you solid in the shoulder and you are hurting. You are pretty winded, bleeding everywhere, not dying yet. Go ahead, Carmen. I think uh, said he said something. He moved and he said he was going to be back back. Yeah, he already moved. Double moved? Yep. Yeah, that's what he does. Go ahead, Theodore. You cannot see, see the other guy. Nope, not from okay. that angle. The roof is a little too peaked to get a good shot. Okay. Uh, I am going to. Is it my 
dash and move to get out of the tower, or just move? It'll be your dash and move. Okay, I will do that. Okay. Yeah, you'll land right about there. You can move yourself five feet more. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Jakad? Not dead yet, Jakad? Hmm. With the near last of my strength, I'll do a big old mace swing in through the door. All Try right. to give this guy what for. Flail, not mace. You know what I meant. Fuck! That's like the ninth <laughs> nine I've rolled. <laughs> that is not a hit. Um, Your flail smashes into the door, which is um a little it's, more on yeah. fire. The, the door is still closing in my way, and I'm trying to <laughs> sneak it, this big swinging weapon in there. You can yeah. move, but that would cause a opportunity attack. Uh, yeah, I don't need an extra attack. I'm going to stand there and, and you know what? I'm going to use my inspiration that, what's his name? I don't remember who gave it to me. Billbeard. Bill Billbeard. Billbeard. I'm going to try again. To give me the water. Ah, it's a little bit better. It's not enough. Not enough. You're not inspired enough. Your flail <laughs> I smashes into the door. Oh, I'm so hurt. <laughs> Arthur. I'm going to come to my aid, but from back here. <laughs> and a boy. And I will... Also, <laughs> miss. <laughs> and I will use my inspiration. <laughs> this one goblin is such a one damage. Uh, you did it. It's you like, did it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So you do launch a fireball past your friend's shoulders. It hits the goblin, and it kind of singes the the remaining top part of their hair, which they were mostly bald anyways. You just singe the top. But it's annoying, right? It's definitely annoying as he goes to kill your friend. <laughs> With a scimitar to the guts. Miss, miss, miss. Ooh, miss. Yeah. He misses, he screams, he disengages and runs. <laughs> just like just like we had planned, hey Arthur. <sighs> <laughs> Next. Carmen? He's still gone. Let's just double move. Yeah. Let's see. Where where is Carmen? Where about you guys? He can get up next he, to you. He oh, might good. heal you. He might not. We'll see we'll how he out. feels. We'll give him a reaction. Well, it was back. a double move. I mean, he would do it with his bone, the healing word. Yeah. So it doesn't change anything for him. Next is Theodore. Uh, let's see. I'm going to. Six. Double move to there. Okay, so right about the center of the courtyard. Angle it, angle it maybe more a little bit to right there. Okay. You run towards the middle of the courtyard where there's a big giant divot in the ground. Next. And that's my turn. Chikad. Um. I don't know if I'm healed or not. That's true. WWJD. Where Josh is he? Move in and kill him. What would Josh do? <laughs> what would Josh? I don't know, because this is Josh's new character, which is supposed to be, um good or something he's relatively good but surly i think he would heal me i think he would too but i can't say for certain because you never know all right well either way i'm going to pretend that he's not there yet so i am going to risk it 
<laughs> for the best game. Grand Skip over the biscuit. Um, in your mind, think you can get Jesus ability. Must be it. well. I have fuck. I don't know what to do without knowing whether or not I'm healed. It changes everything. Let's text it. So what's this? Let's just yeah. Let's see if he answers a text message. Let's find out where where did he even go? <clears throat> Will you yes. heal your friend? There, we'll see what he says. Let's see if we get a response in a couple seconds. <laughs> Otherwise, I got to look at that building already. I don't want to. You don't want to loot? Yeah, maybe I grab this goblin by the foot and I pull him back out. Shh. Pull him out of the burning building. He's dead. Yay. Um, is he also wielding a scimitar golden? and a short bow? And what else will he have on him? That's a good question. So he also has a small sack. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> and if you okay, search sorry, through guys, his I'm belongings, back. the sack is way too heavy to even carry. Oh, wow. So okay. it's being drug on the ground as you're pulling the goblin. And it's too heavy for them to carry. You could pick it up fine. But. Oh, I made it to the action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you going to heal your friend or not? I am going to heal my friend. Why would I not heal my friend? Well, we weren't well, sure. We weren't sure if you, we didn't, I didn't want to go in any further. It had been a couple rounds, and you were just kind of standing there. <laughs> oh, has it been a couple rounds? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, things were kind of wild for a second over here. All right. Yeah, let me heal my friend. Um, oh, this is my last spell slot for a week. Yeah, what's up? Hold on a second. He thinks he's healing you. I... <clears throat> Anyways, in That's the right. sack in is action, a lot yeah. of different things from the inn. You see pots and pans. Like there's a big frying pan, a large iron pot, a lantern in there. There's some oil, and you hear utensils clanging inside. You also see a liquid that looks like it's <laughs> seeping through the rest of the sack because whatever was in it mm -hmm. in the jar broke, and there's some glass shards in there. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to – I'll just take it to, like, here and dump out the sack. All right, you dump just... out the sack, and another jar spills out and smashes on the ground, and it looks like it was a, a jar full of olives. Mm. Okay, sorry, guys. Um, dad business. All right, let me heal you. Okay. Since we're not fighting it, I can cast Cure Wounds, right? Because are we still going in initiative order, or are there still goblins around? There, there is a goblin just... around. Oh, there's, there's one that we know of, at least. Uh, which way did he go? He's, He's inside up in the back stuff. right corner of the building, by the other two dead Just ones. Like, all by himself. The building, which is slowly <laughs> catching more and more on fire. Could someone put this fire out? I'm waiting to see if you'll heal me. <laughs> I just did. I gave you seven hit points right. back, man. Okay. Right. No, no, was, it's more that than that. Sure. No, it's four healing plus three disciple of life. I rolled a oh, one on the die. I'm okay. sorry. I did the best I could. I wow. Yeah. Now I am Seven. relatively whole again. Might as so. well just done healing word at that point. Yeah, well, you know, I didn't know. <laughs> I moved to the doorway. Do I see the goblin? Yeah, you see him so in the very it... back corner trying to leave out a back entrance. You'd have to cast Firebolt over the different tables and chairs around and over the bar counter, which you can, but he'll have partial cover. After I heal, gee, I can get that far. So I do. And around your friend. But you manage to hit him. So that's five damage jumped onto this guy. That's five damage, and they have six hit points. So close. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
it smacks him in the back. Um, you see him give it a little pep in his step as he's running away. Okay, and then I kind of move away from the fire because I don't want my hair to... Yeah, you don't want to catch. All right. Where's Brian G's character? Right next to where you were. Oh, okay. I see him. And that was Arthur's turn. The goblin keeps running. Hmm. 10, 20, 30, and then it runs around that building. And you don't see where it goes. Oh, I'm going after him. Well, it's faster than you. <laughs> I think we got I think we got all of them. 10, he'd be faster than me. 20, that's fine. 30, no, 25. And then it's 30, 40. I can at least make it to, I think, like here. Right, which is if I double move, so he'll get a shot at me if he wants it. Well, he had double moved. Oh, okay. So... So he's like where, like over here somewhere. Yeah, I'll put him back. Hollow ass. He can see you still. Yep. I'm like a hole in the smashed building. I see one. I see one over here. All right. That was your turn. That was his turn. Theodore. Put chases. Move up to here. Do I got a line of sight on him? You do not. There is a large boulder he's also partially covered by the horse troughs okay I will hold my action if he comes in view I will shoot at him okay Jakad um what does the fire look like on this thing it's now got about half of the door is caught um, the flames can be put out pretty easy. However, it needs to be soon because it's about to catch the thatch. Yeah. And once the fire hits I'm the thinking. thatch, it's going to spread so fast. There's just nothing you yeah. can do. I am going to come up and between uh, beating down the frame with um, the flail to patting it out, whatever it takes, I'm going to attack this. Yes. Fire. Go to hit. Um, um, so basically... What am I trying to do? <laughs> what you're doing is you're trying to break it. So basically it's like an object that has yeah. a I'm durability doing and an hit points. Thing. Fireman with an axe. Wow. Mm. <laughs> well, mm. you managed to hit it, but not solid <laughs> enough to break it. Look how much damage it did. <laughs> I know, but it has a hardness. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't have gotten through, but yeah. So I I try to. So the actually the, the uh, flail bounces off the door frame and kind of um, clangs you in the head a little. Ding! Not not any damage, <laughs> but because <laughs> I'm assuming you wear full armor with a helmet. I'm pretty full plated, yeah. Or chain with a helmet. Chained. I'm chained. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have chain. Arthur. Uh, this fire is your doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything that extinguish it. Uh, <laughs> can I cast sleep on the fire? <laughs> Go to sleep, fire. Go to sleep, Jacob. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you stay here. <laughs> yeah. Inhale uh, these. Hail the smoke. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it out, Jacob, and, and I'll. That's it. <laughs> you give him words of encouragement? Yeah. Good job. That'd be the help action? No. Oh, that's <laughs> horrible. <laughs> that's not a very good help action for a physical activity. <laughs> um, the goblin takes a shot at you, Mr. Dwarf Man. Sweet. Okay. Misses, drops his bow and runs. He realizes his fatal mistake right there. Yeah, he failed himself when he took a shot. Okay, my turn. Your turn. And he did not ever come into line of sight for you, Theodore. Ten. Sorry. Yep. Twenty. 
Uh, so it's 20, it's 25. So I'm 5, 10, 15. So I'm about, how far am I from him? Is that 20 or 25? That's 20. Oh, sweet. I throw an axe at him. Oh, okay. What? I'm like, you fucker, blah, 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 blah. I'm just like low level cursing constantly as I throw the hand axe. Oh, please. He was only got one damage. Oh, I crit it. I just put it in his spine. Fit, 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 slouch. You definitely do. In fact, that was. um. Oh, okay. That is the damage, right? Yeah, it's a seven plus. My crit damage is only one, unfortunately. Uh, that's enough though this one was already pretty hurt you fling the axe and you catch it right in the back let's put Sweet. a big old x on that thing yeah dude that's how you be slow with the door if you throw hand axes i guess <laughs> that's the new way <laughs> it adds five feet to your movement kind of <laughs> right <laughs> but you have to go retrieve it every time that's kind of I have two. I have two of them, so I don't have to. But it's better to keep two. Okay. All right. Let's um clear the turn order. You have managed to snipe out the goblins. What about this fire? Well. That's not part of combat, so... Jakad, you want to give it another gusto shot? You want to try again? Um, let's give it... Yeah, another... See if we can save this friggin' building or not. And I get an inspiration this time. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> Slightly better, but not much. No, you are having <laughs> trouble, and the fire catches on the thats. <laughs> Don't speak the inspiration. Don't you have one? I already did. While you were gone, they both did for one of these goblins. Wow. Yeah, I go. just wanted to see <laughs> if it was ever. After a few more hacks <laughs> and a few more tries, you managed to break the frame off, but the fire has now caught the entirety of the thatch roof. And that building's going up. You can see it starting ah. to spread quickly and then it gets to the peak of the roof and yeah i, I throw my, my head axe. inside and yell Every, everybody out I run he's away. just anyone <laughs> hiding in there actually i get my axe and i come around the other side of the <clears throat> so i'm coming over this way okay i'm huffing check and the buildings as i do the door front i'll oh, check the buildings i've already checked some of the buildings i guess if we're checking the buildings i run back this way i go and look at this building Okay, that's another small um, cottage. No one's in there. Okay, I mean, I'll check this building too, given enough time, and this building over here. Yeah, so let's just go over the buildings in order as you guys have eliminated the goblin threat, the scourge. Okay. You've already seen the Nightstone Inn. Yep. Yeah. For the last time. <laughs> Nightstone Inn ripped. Was the Nightstone Inn. I come over here. Um, you've been in the temple. Yeah. There was the priest in there. Someone can go talk to them if they want while people are searching. No. Mm -hmm. Give me a perception yes. check when you get to the stable house, which is right here. So you're going to go talk to the priest, Jakan? Uh, yeah, I'll make sure that he knows the immediate danger has passed. <laughs> You must oh, be on watch for fire. <laughs> is this the stable building? That's the stable. Yes. Oh, yeah. Should I roll perception if I'm checking all the buildings over there? You can go ahead and give me a perception check when you get in there. I'm probably sticking with the dwarf. Figure stand pairs. 16. Uh, let me check. Yeah. There's someone that's in there. You see a lady in the back okay. corner, and she looks like she was trying to hide, but very, very poorly hiding behind um someone's bed. You see her feet sticking out. Okay. I say, 
Come out, lass. It's safe now. We've killed all the fucking goblins. She doesn't respond. In fact, okay. you see her feet kind of scooch up behind the bed. That's being more. Fuck, I said it's safe. You can come out now. <laughs> you hear a little shuffling, but no one comes out. Listen, if you want me to, I'll come over there and move the bed and pull you out myself. I wouldn't take it to the priest where you'll be safe. My <laughs> friends are there. <laughs> Okay. I'll try to persuade her poorly. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, here we go. <laughs> poorly uh, is right. Oh, my fr- yeah, poorly. She um does kind of get a better view of who's talking to her. You see her head slightly peek up from behind the bed, and you can just catch, like, one side of her face. As she's looking over at you, you see her eyes and half her face on yeah, um, what happened? Did Are they all dead? Yeah, we killed them all. We're searching the buildings for survival. Oh. She stands up, and you see that she has some kind of serpent wrapped around her arm. Oh, what? Like a, well, it's a snake. Just a, a uh, thin, small snake. I'm like... I am, yeah, I was just, um, yeah. Are you sure it's safe? Uh, I think so. Thing on you. Okay. It's, uh, something on your, on your, what's on your, it's something on you. Oh, that's, that's just my pet. Huh. Well, uh, yeah, go to the church. Can I, do I have to? Yeah. You have to. Can't I stay here? It's safe here. No one else is here. It is not safe here. You're daft. You're all by yourself. My friends are at the church, and they can defend you, while me and the woodsmen search the rest of the buildings. If you stay here, you might die to one of those green-skinned fuckers if we missed one. Go to the church, you stupid bitch. (laughs) (laughs) What the hell? Give me an intimidation roll with advantage. <clears throat> okay. Uh, all right, my daughter's life. Intimidation with advantage? Yeah. Um, yep, bad. <laughs> Even bad with advantage, this. she's um yep. a little taken aback when you call her that. Yep. How dare you? I don't have to listen to you, you mean old grumpy ass dwarf. I I am a mean old dwarf, but I know what's best when it comes to goblins. If you have any sense, you listen to me. Leave me alone. All right, fine. I walk out. (laughs) Okay. Like, she wants to stay there, that's her business. And you're going to go search the rest of the houses? Oops, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Dropping shit over here. Alright, so we'll just continue to go in order. There's a couple more um, cottages on the western side. Before I leave the building, I will say, what's your name so I know what to put in your tombstone when I come back? And- so when you come back, what? <laughs> so when I come back and you're cold. My name's Kella. All right, then I just walk out. Cool. I think we'll have a good view in this house before we see what's in the other one. Okay. Which house? Use the uh, uh, indicators because there's so many. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I pinged it. Oh, did you? Just... Got it. Let me zoom out. So I'm I guessing because of that rock. Sure, that is another cottage. So far, you haven't found anyone alive except for the priest okay. and Keller. Sorry. Everyone else can continue to search. Matt, are you still here? Yep, I'm here. What are you doing in all this? Uh, I was going to go back to the church. Okay, so you're going to be there with Jacquard. Yep. And you are both talking to the priest? Yep. Yeah. Did you... Well, did you... one of the things that I wanted to do is 
make sure I'd ask about the population of this town. It's a pretty fancy, walled-off, moated area to have one person that I've met so far. Um, I, I'm not sure Hello. where everyone went. Um, I, I kind of barred the doors when I heard all the, the crashing sounds, and bar the door. Can you hear me? I, I can, can hear, hear you, Josh. Now. Did we lose Josh? Oh wait. Okay, you guys can hear me. Okay, I got you. Never mind. I'm back. Cool. <laughs> He seems very shaken. I yeah, I barred the doors when everyone. Um, I don't know where everyone went. No one came here because well, well, because because I barred the doors, and mm, I heard nice. the drawbridge go down, and crashing around me and things breaking, um, people screaming. I I didn't see what happened though. I I kind of well, I hid, and he looks really ashamed. There's no shame in hiding. <laughs> <laughs> there are worse things than hiding. I, I failed my people. I, I hid and I closed the doors to them. They could have come here for shelter, and I, I, mm. I closed the door to them. Let's start from the beginning. When did this all start? Oh, this is a few days ago. Um. That's really all I know. I've just been in here since, and I saw the goblins come in. The drawbridge was already down. There's no... Everyone was gone, the whole village. I, I just stayed in here the whole time. I. So this may have been two separate events. The bombardment and the goblins. I, I don't know. The, the goblins showed up two days ago. And the drawbridge went down three days ago. Yeah, 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 that's right. Where did the, all these boulders come from? I, I couldn't tell you that. I've, I was inside. Mm. I'm just lucky none came in here. So, uh, I, while they're doing that, I'm going to... Okay. Yeah. You're continuing the search. Well, and I have an idea. I also have an idea. He, uh, me, Joel, buddy, old pal, I can't remember your name, Arthur. Arthur. Why don't you come over here with me <laughs> to the hole? <laughs> uh, I'll investigate the hole. Okay. Yeah. The priest walks up there as well with you guys. He's, found safety in numbers mm -hmm. so I'm just hand you a couple little rocks make these shine and drop them down in and see what we can see down there there's there's right. nothing down there and you look and it is a crater but it's not a hole in the ground that goes down 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 the priest goes oh, what what happened to the nightstone oh. <laughs> it's gone um I don't is that what was here I didn't even realize that. That's not the end. That's the end. That we. No, not the end. <laughs> oh, not the end. No, okay. that's going on in the background of all this. Just a big blazing right. bonfire in the background of everything. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Can you tell me? Can you tell me about this night stone? It was. It was the centerpiece of our town. I. I can't even believe I didn't see it when everything else is going on. Well, that I didn't see that it was gone. Um, the the whole Martin Bailey town was built around this. What was so special about this night stone? I I know that people from far and wide have come to view it every once in a while. It used to have some magical properties, or might still have had some magical properties, but no one could ascertain the purpose or why. It was just beautiful obsidian. I. It was huge. It was uh, ten feet tall. How, how, really? 
I wonder then if it was just a circumstantial spoils of war or if that is why they came in the first place. Um, and you actually hear a, a lady's voice from kind of the eastern area. Someone you guys haven't met, but that... Kill her! <laughs> Don't kill her. <laughs> That's not her name. It is Kella. Kella, the dumb bitch with a snake. Right. Kella! <laughs> I, I saw what happened. She walks out of the stables. It was almost impossible to believe I hadn't seen it for myself. When I was looking up, these rocks were dropped from the sky from a large city that rode on the clouds. And when they were done and everyone fled, I was still in the inn. I saw, I hid, and I saw that four large very large creatures I believe were giants they they came down from their cloud city and they stole that stone and they took it back and then the city departed and its shadow that was overcasting ours left did you just wait. say giants wait yeah you're gonna have to do that one again it was I know, like I said, it's hard to believe. A city full of giants. Or at least a, a giant city that flew in the clouds. Or that rode on the clouds, or that lived in the clouds, I'm not really sure. They came down from their city, and they, they grabbed this stone, and they took it back. And once they took it, they left everything else alone. The villagers fled. They lowered the drawbridge and they all left. I was still hiding out here when the goblins came and I, I came into the stables and I hid here for the remainder. Who launched all of these boulders? Or did they fall from the sky city? They fell from the sky, from the clouds, from the giants. I didn't see any in the surrounding area must have also been intentional they were not just falling haphazardly it must have been intentional hmm. you see the the snake curl around her arm and kind of slither into her uh, clothing into her cloak I I can't tell you why I just that's what I saw. What happened to the inn? Uh, <laughs> fire. The fire devoured it. Continues to do so. That would have been my fault. Morak is going to be very pissed. The priest looks over. Her. I'm, um, I'm sorry, who are you again? I already said I'm Kella. So I'll wander over at this point and I'm like, I, this git. Jack, I have a proposition. I think we can make the jump. What jump? The bridge, it's out. We just got in. No, the bridge to the keep. I forgot about the keep. I I've been down there looking. I think we can make it. Mm, I suppose we should check and see if everyone's all right there. I. Did we manage to check all the oh, places? Like yeah, I'll give now? you some more information then. So I won't give you any more information about the Nightstone Inn. Yep. <laughs> it's flammable. Eventually, you see Guard, the Guard, walk out of the trading mm -hmm. post, and he's got a sack behind his back. Did you manage to get all of them? Yeah, no thanks to you. You slouchy loot and fuck. It's not like they're going to need them. Did you see inside there? They don't belong to you, though. 
It doesn't matter. Why it does? There's no one here. Everyone's left. Is that what At you came point, for? They'll be back. I just managed to take advantage of the situation. You're stealing someone's livelihood. I think someone already did that. See the wreckage of this city? They only never bit they can to rebuild, and you're taking it from them. What well, is this thing I found? What concern is it of yours? I walk away. <laughs> I walk away from that nonsense. <laughs> ah, Jack, to the bridge with me. That's what I thought. I walk he in says, the other and direction. he starts walking <laughs> really? out of the village. Yeah. I'm looking at this thing on the ground right now. Where? What is this? Where? <laughs> just, just north. Oh. oh, this weird thing. Well, that is not labeled on the map, so I couldn't even tell you. Okay. Maybe so it looks like a window. Base. Yeah, shutters or a sewer Footprint. grate. Yeah, okay. But if nothing appears to be going on there, okay. It's not important to the story. <laughs> okay. I I would have felt a fool if I didn't ask out loud <laughs> what this space age symbol was. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So you guys yeah. pass by the pumpkin field where two goblins that are dead with arrows sticking out them have pumpkins on their head. I nod at the woodsman. Good what? job, lad. <laughs> they have pumpkins on their heads? <laughs> they still do. Did Apparently they died with them on them. <laughs> Have we check great. those two buildings yet? Sure, so let's go ahead Windmill and check and those two cottage. buildings. So, the cottage is pretty much in disarray. Looks like everything's already been looted from there that can be. Goblins must have come in and taken what they can. And then the windmill, you can go in and it looks like there's a couple sets of goblin tracks that were visible in the muddy path, but the goblins are no longer there. And the windmill's interior, it's uh, kind of dark, musty, and filled with different kinds of wooden gears and cogs that help turn the millstone. Hmm. Nothing of note in there either. Most of these okay. things have been looted. Have we seen any spare lumber? Yeah, sure. You've seen firewood here and there. I'm thinking something to make like a like a bridge, a, like a planks bridge type things. Yeah, you've Next seen some planks. longer slats of wood up by the end. <laughs> we can jump sixteen feet, man. Yeah, we can. I want to. You also make... saw a couple wagons scattered throughout that you Easy could probably um, pop off the panels. Okay. Yeah, I want to do something like that rather than just um, getting than just jumping. I want to be able to get somebody to get in and out. I don't know if that would be long a, enough because I know what a you're wooden thinking. Wooden ladder like this one, like this wooden ladder in these um, in these towers if those are detached or something okay yeah um, you could definitely detach it'll take a little bit of time like 10 minutes to detach them but those yeah, ladders will be long there. enough to span the bridge that's what i want to do okay, i'll help them that sounds sensible and then if anyone's there we can get them out without having to throw them i noticed the uh, palisade is kind of broken right here correct i'm gonna see if there's some stuff that i can lay down on top of the ladders to make it more walkable versus oh yeah some spare lumber from here here to make it it's not just platform. the palisade it's everything the tower the wall it's all been kind of crumpled right there okay yeah i'm just looking for spare lumber to make it a ramshackle walkway versus a ladder well, there's no walkway on this palisade, right? These are just spiked fence posts. Oh, I mean for this thing. Oh, okay. Let's use the fence posts. Just trying to make that yeah. into a walkway. Yeah, you guys managed to take about 30 minutes, scrounge up enough materials to make a decent walking path from the lower bridge to the top. Sweet. And I will give you an inspiration for that, Brian, for out-of-the-box thinking instead of just trying to jump it. 
Yeah. That was a good idea. Do, 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 do. And you all walk across the bridge to the keep. It is 1121. Should we stop here? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and stop here. We can do roses and thorns. And then, hey, Matt, you know yeah. you shouldn't plan around game, right? <laughs> Let's shame him. Let's I'm shame you to shame. shame. We always we always had like an eleven thirty stop time. I was just oh that's no, we lie. don't. There were other games where you were just like I can go later. It's totally fine today. No so noon is default. Eleven thirty is favors. <laughs> nice. Who did that drawing <laughs> on the bridge? Good job. I don't need favors. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, you lost your character. Yeah. I think you're back there. Well, yeah. It just doesn't... Um, it doesn't... Uh, you, like You get lost behind the drawing. But we'll remember that it's there. Not anymore. You can select it and right-click it and send it to the back. Oh, nice. There oh, you go. Yeah. Sweet. All right. So we, have, we have built the thing. You did the thing. This is productive. This is where we're going to leave off for this week. And then for next week, we'll start at the keep and what you Perfect. encounter there and what's happening before we leave because of Matt. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> Let's do roses and thorns, starting with Matt. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, um, I guess my rose is... Uh, Actually, pacing was pretty good. We had several encounters. Um, no one died, which is good. Close. <laughs> Session one. Real close. Uh, close. Yeah, close. but no one died. And uh, yeah, this is, I think, first first session of this module is going pretty good. Uh, so I guess that's my rose. Pacing was, was awesome. We usually take a lot of time um, kind of on our turns deciding what we're going to do and I'm sure it's going to get longer as we level up but uh, everybody was moving pretty quick we were able to get through them uh, Thorn? I don't know if I really have a Thorn um, uh, There, I, I guess it, maybe and this is just very small is that there wasn't much more dialogue, but we got th a lot of battles, so they kind of made up for it. I'm sure next week will be different. Sweet. Go ahead, Alex. Uh, well, I'll say my thorn is ending at 11.30 instead of you know, 12, 12.30. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That'll be everyone's thorn. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm yeah. just starting the trend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, I'll say my rose is probably that tower. I was debating on not going in there, but I felt like I really actually did something, even though I was just like, I shoot a thing, I shoot another thing, I shoot another thing. Well, you got a bird's eye view on the whole map. That was pretty cool. Yep. Sweet. Got to direct someone into going into the house to help with the guard. Who was yeah, we should have him fight that goblin. The goblin. <laughs> That guy's rotten. <laughs> Go ahead, Brian. Oh, let's see. Rose, I thought it was a nice introduction. This felt a lot cleaner than... Was it last week? Yeah. Um, I think I see the value of the modules. Um Everything is a little bit more streamlined, and it will take some time to figure out just how much we stop and talk and get distracted, and then how much we kind of just go forward to feel the momentum out. Um, but overall, definitely, I see the the value of it. Okay. Um, um, let's see, Thor. I think my only thorn this time is nothing on your end. It was just be my own preparedness. 
Like every time I was trying to work on um, this guy, I ended up doing planning for the big campaign. Um, and so I felt pretty unprepared and I had to do some quick clicks and reading when <laughs> a guard started asking me about um, the you know the order of the gauntlet and the lord's alliance and um so i wasn't as prepared as i like to be and so that was that would be more my angle okay josh uh let's see i don't know i did a lot of things you did a lot of what you you roboted out oh sorry can, can you hear me now yep can yep. you hear me now uh, yeah, no, I did a lot of things this game that I've never done before mechanically. I threw throwing axes I've never thrown before, even though I've had characters that had them on them. So that was fun. I cast a AoE cantrip that I've never cast before or even thought about taking. I thought it was going to be a throwaway, but I was like, eh, whatever. I'll have a damage cantrip that's not like a hammer in the face. Or range. That was cool. Yeah, it's not ranged either. I don't have a lot of ranged stuff. I probably... Yeah. Throwing axes. That. <laughs> I throw axes. Yeah, I throw an axe. Yeah, throw an axe. You should just buy like ten um, of them. I mean, I don't know if I'd, I might buy a couple more. Maybe have four of me or something. But uh, yeah, I don't know. So that was kind of fun. Um, yeah, uh, Thorn. Uh, it's I have to keep trying to remind myself not to talk too much, mm. or not to be like the talky guy because. I shit on my charisma, so I keep having to try to like play that one out. I feel like you did and, pretty good there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's like it takes concerted effort, right? I can't just be like, "Oh yeah, come on, blah blah." To be like, "No, fuck you," and blah. Yeah. So it's weird trying not to give little... speeches and stuff. Yeah, because you know I'm a monologue master. Like that's what I totally you do. do this stupid blog. So yeah, I don't know. It'll take some getting used to, probably. All right. My rose. Well, first I'll start with my thorn. Following a module is can be difficult and confusing. And which part am I on? And should I go look up this info or improvise? Should I read the text from the little boxes or not? Um, and then I get lost in some of that. I've read through the whole book almost already, and... Mott and Bailey. That's the name of this type of little village. Mott and Bailey. It slipped oh. my mind and I couldn't find it in the module. I'm like, God damn it, I should be able to find this. It was right there. Hmm. Which is like the Mott is the little hill where the keep stands on top of. I just couldn't put it into words and I was trying to find it. I couldn't find it. I eventually just remembered it at the end of the game. So trying to skip through things and find different things, all the info... When you didn't create it from scratch, it can be easy to slip your mind. Um, for instance, giving you information about the Nightstone that didn't come until later, where I probably should have given that to you in the introduction, like because that's what this town is known for, is the Nightstone. It's named after it. <laughs> and it wasn't there. <laughs> so... That was more a mystery to you guys that just came out of nowhere. Like, and, oh, okay, this what's this divot in the, the ground right here? I was like, one of the rocks went right through to a basement, <laughs> right? <laughs> As a sub-level? <laughs> yeah. So that would be my thorn, is trying to remember all the info that's already pre-written for you. Um, Rose, though, I'd say is still the module. There's a lot of good tie-ins. When I go and I prepare a big campaign... I don't always have those tie-ins created. I try to let you guys help create those. Um, your actions, the things you guys talk to each other about and do kind of shape the world around you when it's my own campaign, which can be good, but it can also be really bad where it doesn't make sense sometimes why they tie together. And this, it all makes sense somehow. It's just pre-written for you and you have to remember to reveal that info to your players. Sure. But I kind of like the intro. I did all, that whole intro was actually just more my writing that's not in the module and taking a little ambush scene from the starter kit and mm -hmm. enveloping it into a whole family that's traveling and trading. So that's probably my rose is doing the introduction scene. 
I felt like you guys were able to express yourselves a little more of who you are and what you do just in the first mm-hmm. like 20 minutes. And that's it. Yes. All right. Uh, we'll do some shout outs. We have a new subscriber. Yes, Care. Thank you for your subscription. Wow. Welcome. Sweet. Subscribers. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, it's like nice. three today. Yeah. Nice. Welcome to the Breakfast Club. Uh, don't forget, you guys can join our Discord channel. The link is below the video. And in our Discord channel, we try to post there every once in a while different things. You can post anything about D&D or just come and chat, hang out. And then I'll go over some of our other followers. So people are asking the software I'm using is Roll20. And I'm just learning the program, so obviously there's a lot of um, hiccups with it. The maps are straight from Storm King Thunder's module. And Storm King Thunder's D&D Beyond module has all the maps for it. So it was really easy to just import them in. Uh, It takes a little bit of prep if you have to use a software, scaling things to size, putting all the tokens in. But once you get that done, it's a pretty clean interface. Thank you for your follows. We've got Roasted Chickens. We've got Mullins, 1985. Thank you for your follow. Um, Flack Obama. (laughs) (laughs) That might be it. I have a hard time finding all of them. Thank you for your subscription and follow, Yazkir. And if there's any others I missed, I'm going to figure out why my Twitch is not connecting anymore. And I can't see who everyone who followed, but we do appreciate all you guys being here. Maybe I can do it this way. Anyone else got any shout outs while I'm looking it up? Mm, no. I mean, I like to say thanks to Illbeard for giving me an inspiration, uh, letting me fail twice in one round. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Double failures are better than single ones for sure. There you go. Ah, here we go. This is a better way I can do it. So then we have also had Engines the Stone. Thank you for your follow. Mr. Worst. Zangmac. And I think that was everyone that I missed. Uh, if you like the music we use, I'm using these playlists from our own YouTube channel. All these playlists, um, If you have a bot in Discord, you can use that so all the players could hear it, or they can mute it if they want. I'm sure most of you guys probably just mute it. I don't know. I keep mine pretty low, but not muted. Not muted, no, just low. And... Same here. Sweet. Well, hopefully it's a different experience for you guys. We're excited to get back and playing live eventually, which... Whoa, you you just cut out for... I cut up? Pretty hard. Oh. A mm-hmm. solid second and a half, I think. I say we're excited to get mm-hmm. back and play in live. We like to um, uh, do live play okay. instead of online. This is a new experience for us. It's kind of cool with the maps, but I'd rather do theater of the mind for some of this stuff and terrain for, sure. for others. Like this one, I don't think this would have been a good terrain map for live play because it's so huge. All the different yeah. buildings. This would have been hundreds of dollars worth of stuff built even if we did it all with foam Mm -hmm. and even then the table's not big enough for it like if each of those squares is 10 feet right but we are excited to end the quarantine someday we'll see when that happens if ever (laughs) have a happy easter everyone thank you for coming by we'll see you all next sunday at 7 30 central Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Peace out, guys.